Ready for some action on ESPN. We are in Mount Pleasant, Mi Michigan for a battle between Northern Illinois at five and two, taking on Central Michigan at four and three. It is football weather and in the parking lot, they are grilling. And here come the teams for a MAC meeting in Kelly Short Stadium. What's up, everybody? Welcome inside our homes. John Schriffen alongside my partner, former national champion at Ohio State, Dustin Fox. And Dustin, I am excited for this game because I get a chance oh, to yeah. see Northern yeah. Illinois. What a year they are having. They didn't win a game last year, and now they are the lone remaining undefeated team in MAC play. And really, they have to thank their running game for all their success so far this year. Well, their head coach is a former running back at NIU, I should say, Thomas Hammock. He wants to run the football. This offense has rushed for over 250 yards in every game except the Michigan game and Georgia Tech. And they found a young running back last week in Jay Ducker, just a freshman, ran for a career high 210 yards against Bowling Green on 33 carries. And the thing they love about him is his vision. His ability to, to read the offensive line and then break tackles down the field. They've got a, also, by the way, not to mention, a couple other really good running backs that we'll see as well. Now, Central Michigan has also found a spark on offense. Daniel Richardson was not the starting quarterback to start the season, but week four, they were down 27 to 10 against FIU. He mounted a fourth quarter comeback win. And ever since, this has been his team. You see the numbers he's already put up. That's just since week four, 11 touchdowns on the year. And Dustin, he's got some guys to throw the ball to. He's got a couple dudes on the outside. Khalil Pimpleton and Ja'Cory Sullivan both played high school football together. They've known each other for their whole lives, basically. And Sullivan's battling a little bit of a thumb injury. The hope is that he's able to go today. He's missed a couple of games, but they really do have some talented weapons on the outside. Thomas Hammock in his third season as head coach for NIU is... Dustin talked about he's a former running back and they were 0 and 6 last season. He told us, you know what? We had to build for the long haul. We recruited from high school ranks. We had a lot of young guys playing last year and we were building this thing and that's why we're having so much success because we had all those growing pains last year. So Northern Illinois has won the toss. They have deferred, so Central Michigan will start with the ball. As we go back to Thomas Hammock and Jim McElwain, also in his third year at the helm here at Central Michigan, he is looking for win number 60 as a head coach today. Here's another interesting stat. At home, when there are fans in the building at Kelly Short Stadium, Coach McElwain is perfect here at Central Michigan. <laughs> Nine and zero at home when he's got some fans supporting him. Yeah, it was fun to chat with him this week, John. He, he uh, had a lot of uh, fun, interesting things to say about his roster. And, and obviously last season, he didn't expect to even have a season. You know, he said he pretty much gray shirted his entire freshman class and he said that was a mistake. But now all of those young players are sort of seeing the fruits of their labor as they're starting to really emerge here in the MAC. 45 degrees and cloudy. You see the fans bundled up, but we're in Central Michigan. It is football weather. We will take it today. Oh, yeah. This is Maction, baby. And we're almost to, to the midweek stuff, but this is uh, one of the last Saturdays we'll see uh, Mac play. And uh, obviously, that, that brings out the crowd. And got some good fans here on, on hand in mid Michigan. That's the freshman kicker, Cannon Woodhill, booting things away for Northern Illinois. That's because John Richardson did not make the trip. He will not be the kicker for Northern Illinois here today. Central Michigan will come out with the ball first, led by their quarterback, Daniel Richardson. Yeah, Richardson really has a, a true understanding of this system. Uh, he's missed some throws, but he has been really arguably the most consistent quarterback in the offense. And you mentioned it there, uh, John, in the open, uh, his performance early in the season against the FIU in that comeback was very impressive. And you see his numbers from a week ago. I mean, this, this is a team that uh, you know, had a nice big win against Toledo uh, last weekend, 26-23. They've won a lot of close games. 
and Richardson just sort of seems to be the guy. Now we had our first penalty of the game. It was a block in the back on Central Michigan, so they'll be backed up 10 yards and will start at their own 11. We mentioned Ja'Cory Sullivan. He's dealing with a right-hand injury. The wide receiver, he is dressed. He warmed up. Let's hope, we hope to see him out here on the field today. Richardson takes the opening snap. He is throwing. And there it is. Ja'Cory Sullivan going right at him, makes the catch for the first play of the game. And you can see that thumb is uh, a little bit taped up there, of course. And, you know, McIlwain, Coach McIlwain was saying to us this week on our conference call, he's like, that thumb just kind of pops in and out. He's like, you know how tough that is as a wide receiver to be able to catch the football? So he's got one good paw, but the other one's uh, a little bit nicked up. Pempleton in the backfield, swings out to him. He will pick up the first down and more. Good run after the catch, Khalil Pempleton. Love that decision to put one of your best players in the backfield and, and just kind of swing it out to him and get him get it on the perimeter. Almost like an extended run play. You get the offensive line to block downfield, and then Pimpleton just takes off to the races. That was the right tackle. Luke Gedeke downfield throwing that block. So a first down for Central Michigan. Lou Nichols. Gets the run, and he's got plenty of room over the right side. Someone chase him down. He is all alone in space. Lou Nichols, 66-yard touchdown. Central Michigan strikes first. A terrific start for this Chippewas offense to march right down the field with the explosive plays from Pimpleton and, and now Lou Nichols. 66 yards with the longest rush of the season for the Chippewas as the extra point is up and good by Marshall Meter. And how about the Chippewas? An early 7-0 start. That was quick. Check, check out this block here on the inside from Hunter Butchkowski, number 44, is going to do a great kick out right there, pow, on the defensive end, and that allows this thing to open up for Lou Nichols. And then, of course, it's off the races. No one's going to catch him. He's got excellent speed, but the great block on the inside from 44 Butchkowski. Right there, pow. Butchkowski is back from block. injury. That is huge for this team. He plays that hybrid tight end fullback position, and man, he just created a huge hole. Central Michigan up 7-0 here early. Jim McElwain has got to love this start from his squad. But now he's got to deal with the run game for Northern Illinois. You know what they're going to do defensively. How do you <laughs> stop them? It is going to be tough. Meter is set to boot things away for Central Michigan. And he will kick it into the end zone. So Northern Illinois offense will come onto the field and start from their own 25, led by their quarterback, Rocky Lombardi, the Michigan State transfer. Well, Lombardi's got an interesting story. We all, all remember him from his days in the Big Ten, playing at Michigan State from 2018 to 2020. Looking for greener pastures here in DeKalb. Jay Ducker gets the start in the backfield, but Lombardi is going to use his legs. And he's going to scamper for a good gain on first down. Douglas, the man to bring him down. This is what's interesting to me, John, is something has to give because that NIU's offense is the first in the MAC. Rushing, I should say, and the CMU defense, they don't give up a lot of rushing yards on the ground, just 125 per game. So it'll be a really interesting chess match as we go throughout the ball game. On second and four, the handoff is to Ducker. Plenty of room over the right side, cuts back up field. 
and you see why he got the start this week. He came into last week's game, hadn't even rushed 100 yards on the season, and now he's the feature back. Yeah, Sureness does a really good job there from his right guard spot, kind of sealing off the edge. And then Ducker, just as we talk about in the open, his vision. Love his vision to, to bounce that thing outside and, and pick up that first down. First and ten, that's Miles Joyner, the tight end in motion. Tyrese Ritchie, their wide receiver, will get the handoff, and he will run for a gain of nine. You know, that's something that this offense needs to find ways to get the football in the hand of, hands of Ritchie. You know, they're, they're such a run-heavy offensive attack. But, but, but John, they, they have really, in Ritchie, one of the best wide receivers in the country. And it's just unfortunate they, they can't get the football to him in, enough in this offense. But uh, I think he's got a chance to play at the next level. He, he obviously, a, a season ago, was just dynamic uh, for this NIU offense. So second and short, back to the ground for the Huskies. This is Ducker back in the game. Dante Kent is there on the stop. That'll bring up third down, no game. And Ducker's going to come out of the game. At least for this third and one play. Maybe thinking quarterback run with Rocky Lombardi. That'll bring up the first third down of the ball game. Northern Illinois under 35% conversion this season. Handoff is to the fullback, Ratkovich. And he's got the first down. Clint Ratkovich, this guy can squat 600 pounds. So on third and short, he's the guy you want to get the ball to. And he's smart, too. We were talking with the staff. I mean, he's already got his degree. Engineering technology. I don't know what that means, but it sounds a lot smarter than me. <laughs> Two tight ends on the right side of the line for the Huskies. Lombardi looking to throw. Almost picked off. That one skipped off the turf. Devonnie Reed was the man there. Incomplete. See if this, how close this is. This is a, a, a poor throw from Rocky Lombardi. Just a play action pass sets up and sort of air mills this one over top of his wide receiver. Look in there. I think he was trying to get Richie. Yeah, number three, Richie. Reed tried to sell it. I know, I know you used to do that back in the day. Oh, my. Well, remember, back in the day when I played, uh, John, we didn't have instant replay. So <laughs> there were, there were many times where we could get away with stuff. Got to sell it. Second and ten. Back to the ground. This is Ducker for a short game. Now, Ducker's getting this opportunity because the normal starting running back, Ontario Brown, he fumbled in the first quarter last week against Bowling Green. Ducker came in, and really, he took over that starting job. Yeah, I mean, the career high day, 210 yards rushing. And what's what's funny about that, it, it happened against Bowling Green. And the last time somebody ran for at least 210 yards or two over 200 yards was Jordan Lynch all the way back in, in 2013. And we all remember Jordan Lynch is, is a great quarterback here at NIU, one of the best players to ever play in the MAC. Clint Ratkovich is in, in the backfield on third and six with Rocky Lombardi. Playcock running down. And Northern Illinois is going to have to burn a timeout here. A full media timeout. So as the Huskies talk it over on third and six, we're going to step aside. We'll be right back after this. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Beef farmers and ranchers around the country are implementing land-conserving, wildlife-protecting, award-winning environmental efforts. They're rethinking the ranch by providing renewable energy to get water from the sun and by using innovative technology to keep more of that water from vanishing into thin air. 
This high quality care means more high quality beef, raised to decrease greenhouse gas emissions. Learn more about how beef farmers and ranchers are rethinking the ranch. While expecting, Jennifer discovered the Chex Mix combination of one corn Chex, one wheat Chex, and three breadstick pieces. Get born and then you can pick your own mix, baby. Pick your mix. This football season, buy four participating items to save $50 off Fanatics gear at WeAreTailgateNation.com. Our crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. With DirecTV Stream, I can get live TV and on demand together. Watch. Serena Williams, Wonder Woman. Serena, Wonder Woman. Serena, Wonder Woman. You cannot be serious! Get your TV together with the best of live and on demand. Introducing Direct TV Stream. Fine, no one leaves the table till you're finished. Fine, we'll sleep here. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. On a spooky Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Sheriff, come quick. Rico's about to enter the transfer portal. Rico, you don't need to transfer. Have you seen the latest depth chart? I'd be lucky to play it down this year. But you're only a sophomore. There's still time. Rico's time is now. You know, never really saw much upside with Rico. Hey, anybody need a punter? We're good. Oh, brought Dr. Pepper. Welcome, Welcome to, to state. state. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Welcome to Saturday Night Football on ABC. Ohio State trying to dodge the upset trap here. Ohio State, Indiana, tonight at 7.30 on ABC. Rocky Lombardi back on the field for the eighth play of the drive. John Schriff alongside my partner, Dustin Fox. All right, Dustin, if you're Northern Illinois, what do you do here on third and six? Well, I'm thinking about putting the football in the air, and that, that could be a, a dangerous proposition at times for NIU. But if there's one guy that I'm targeting, it's, it's Tyrese Ritchie. And, and that's, that's your top guy, number three, on the outside. If you can find a chance to, to hit him just near the sticks, I think it gives you a, a really good opportunity to pick up this first down. He's going to be lined up in the, in the, uh, the slot there at the top of the screen. Miles Joyner in the motion. They find a tight end, but he is going to be well short of the marker. Interesting play call on third and six. I'd almost consider going for this. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Yeah, they're going to bring the offense back out. I, I think this is kind of in that gray area. I mean, if you punt this away, John, I mean, what's the ch chances that, how much are you going to gain net-wise? I mean, 15, 20 yards tops of, of field position. I, I, I love this decision to go for it. They're one of the better teams on fourth down in, in the country. Three wide receivers set for the Huskies. Lombardi to throw, and he has the first down. That's Trayvon Rudolph. He had a huge 100-yard kick return for a touchdown against Bowling Green last week. Gain of 12, picks up the first down. Gutsy throw by Lombardi, just working the slot here against Alonzo McCoy, their, their nickelback. Just a nice little skinny post slash slant, and, and Rudolph is, is an interesting guy. The coaches for, for a young player were raving, so he may be one of the most explosive players they've got on the entire roster. Ducker, a burst of speed there, not much. Douglas there on the stop. It's been an interesting year for this, this offense. Harrison Whaley started out the first five games. He was red hot. Uh, enter Ontario Brown had a big game against Eastern Michigan and against Toledo 93 for a touchdown and now last week it's Ducker who comes into the game against BG and just goes off for 210 as you mentioned the most since Jordan Lynch so they've, they've got a lot of talented running backs and it's been next man up Lombardi is flushed out throwing across his body into the end zone incomplete he was looking for Richie Had him open on, on this crossing 
deep post to the corner. It thought he had a step there on uh, Roly and Sturkey, the cornerback. So another big third down coming up here. Obviously, there's, there's a concerted effort to try and get the football in the hands of Richie. They've, they've targeted him a few times already in this opening drive. Richie That's him is in motion. Man in motion. Now he's in the slot. Empty backfield for Lombardi. He finds Richie over the middle, cuts free, spinning into the end zone. Touchdown. What a move by Tyrese Richie, breaking some tackles, finds the end zone. Wow. It's a crossing route. They bring him in motion. He's going to come right across on a drag. Maybe a little bit of a pick inside there, but how about the spin, John Schriffen, for, from Richie to spin inside and break the tackle? And, and really, that was an effort play to find his way to the end zone. Terrific response and, and really a good job by NIU to pick up that fourth down conversion. Then again, another third down conversion right there for the touchdown. It's been a while since I played Madden, but he just spin moved out of like three dudes. If you're playing against that guy, you just throw the controller at the ground. This right is now. There's nothing you can this do. Is na nasty stuff. Spin move inside, showing off why he's one of the best wide receivers in the conference, making plays. Top ball game action on a Saturday. Welcome to Allstate, where we have all new lower auto rates. And savings like that make you feel like you won the whole dang thing. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. Smell irresistible. The new Axe Effect. What do we want for dinner? Burgers! I want a Wait. sugar cookie! No. I want a bucket of chicken! I want no. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. Regina approaches the all-electric Cadillac Lyric. It's a sunny day. No, a stormy day. Classical music plays. Mm -mm. Brass band. New Orleans. <laughs> she drives hands-free along the coast. Make it Palm Springs. Cadillac is going electric. If you want to be bold, you have to go off script. Experience the all-electric Cadillac Lyric. Projects, the projection gaming arcade that started it all, now has animated targets you blast on your wall. No TV or sensors needed. Just point projects at a blank wall, grab a blaster, and aim for your target. But stay sharp, they move fast. Digital scoring keeps track of your hits. You can play solo, head to head, or team up for co-op play. Swap slides to blast different targets. Go duck hunting or defend against UFOs. Projects comes with five built-in games that challenge your speed and accuracy. Plus, you can level up with three different skill levels. Because it's portable and battery-powered, you can play projects inside or out. Family gaming gets an upgrade. You can get the Projects 2 blaster set with three target slides and TV exclusive sticker sheet, all for $49.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. It's the projecting portable arcade with animated targets that's a blast to play. It's Projects, only from NSI. The Allstate Saturday Kickoff is presented by Allstate. Save money like a champion with Allstate. It's a matchup between two of the hottest teams in the MAC, and so far it is not disappointed. We are all knotted up at seven here in the first quarter. John Schriffen alongside my partner Dustin Fox. Northern Illinois has won four in a row. And Tyrese Ritchie, what a move to get in the end zone. Yeah, you look at the numbers he had a season ago. Four touchdown passes, four touchdown receptions in just the six games. And this game, this season through seven has, has really not been able to, to find the end zone until today. So uh, I wonder if there's going to be a little bit of an effort here to try and 
you know, going up against a really good rush defense in Central Michigan to try to get the football on the outside in the hands of their top target, Tyrese Ritchie. Miles Bailey on the return for Central Michigan. Good field position up across the 30-yard line. Daniel Richardson will come out for the second drive for the Chippewas. First time out, three plays, 89 yards in just a minute and 16 seconds. Let's see what this offense does here in their second drive. First and 10 from their own 30. Lou Nichols is in the backfield. They fake the handoff. Richardson dropping back. Now they dump it off to Nichols. A couple stiff arms eventually will get out of bounds. Nice play by Richardson. The pressure comes from NIU, and he steps up in the pocket and, and really just finds his running back leaking out of the backfield for a, for a quick check down. We've got a call here as well. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number four. It's a 15 yard wow. from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Clock operator, can you please set the game clock to 732, please? 732. That's Ray Thomas. Let's take another look at the penalty. Well, Thomas is working here right, right there inside. Yeah, and he goes high. He just goes high on Richardson. Anything to that head or neck area, they're going to call that every time. Got to be careful. The young freshman uh, defensive end, who's who's really one of the most dynamic pass rushers they have. Got to be careful. A huge shift to the right side of the line. Nichols in the backfield. He gets the rock over the middle. Finds a way to scoot through across the 40. Uh, C.J. Brown saves a touchdown here. This is this is thing is blocked up beautifully. You mentioned the shift off to the right. They got uh, Butchkowski out there and heavy package and then just look at the push. And then the cutback and then of course, this thing's blocked up really well. That was a touchdown saving tackle by C.J. Brown. On second and one, Nichols again bounces, finds another hole. C.J. Brown another tackle, but Dustin early on, this Central Michigan offense is doing whatever they want. They're going to push. Um, they, they've got two of the best tackles in football. In Bernard Raymond and Luke Gadeke. Gadeke at the right tackle position is really talented. They're both NFL prospects. Richardson is pressured, has to get away, and will throw it out of bounds. The first incompletion for Richardson today. Here's a look at Raymond. I was just um, tweeting back with Jim Nagy, of course, who, who runs the Senior Bowl. And he sent a nice little tweet before the game. He says, these two tackles will both be starters in the National Football League. And I'm thinking, man, that's that's some pretty high praise. So um, from from a, a, a guru, NFL guru, there there's your uh, your scouting report. Richardson throw over the middle. That's complete. That's Ja'Cory Sullivan, another catch. And, and Raymond, watch Raymond. The take on two defenders here. There's one. It's a pretty good push, on, push by the, the NIU defense on the right side. That was Makai Nelson Douglas getting the pressure on the quarterback Richardson. That'll bring up a third and five. Richardson looking to throw again. He's got some heat, gets it away. And how about Ja'Cory Sullivan? We didn't even know if he was going to play today. I, I, was he down? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, knee hit. I would, I would, he popped up so quickly. I'm thinking he, he dropped the football. I'm like, is, man, that could be a dangerous decision by Sullivan. But Sullivan, who, who we didn't know if he was going to play in the game, obviously uh, is and, and has two quick catches to start the football game. 
New set of downs. Pimpled in on the pitch. He's looking to throw. And he completes it to the running back, Miles Bailey. So Chippewas, they're opening up the playbook here early on. You know, Raymond, John, he's got an interesting story, doesn't he? I mean, the guy was a foreign exchange student from Austria in high school. I mean, he's, he's been around for a long time and, and certainly has turned into, you know, one of the best tackles in not just the Mid-American Conference, but the entire country. Six foot seven, 305 pounds. That is prototypical NFL size for a left tackle. Second and five, Bailey dragging defenders at his feet. That was C.J. Brown. That left side again, that's ankles. Raymond. Just watch 76, right there, just pals. Bully ball down the field, then that's a pancake on top of it. This guy is really impressive to watch. On first and goal, but Chkowski moves over to the right side. Nichols gets the handoff, pushing the pile, and he will be dragged down at the one. That's Devontae O'Malley bringing him down. John, this is just this. Watch the offensive line. They're going to push this entire front four about four yards and open up that hole for, for Lou Nichols. I mean, that's that's an easy, easy run. I think, I think John Strickland's getting the, at least three on that, that a play like that. I'm at least getting a couple. You're getting a couple, man. I know that. Tenth play of the drive. Nichols again, and he plunges in for the touchdown. Central Michigan retakes the lead. And it has been the Lou Nichols show here in this first quarter. Leader Tex on the extra point as Central Michigan with a seven point lead here with 4.03 to play in the first quarter. Lou Nichols, man, this guy for, for filling in, being a third string running back to start the season, is having himself a day. Second touchdown already, 14 to 7. Chips on. Are you ready for Monday night? Everyone loves the benefits of compression socks, but they're just so hard to get on. Until now. Introducing the all-new CopperFit Energy Socks. Redesigned for the first ever easy on, easy off fit to help reduce swelling, relieve tired, achy muscles, and provide energizing support. A new blend of stretch fabric for the most comfortable easy on, easy off compression fit. Being a SWAT commander, we train to win. The CopperFit Energy Socks, they didn't feel like other compression socks. They totally exceeded my expectations. Our most powerful copper-infused fabric woven into our easy on, easy off compression sock to help reduce swelling discomfort from prolonged sitting or standing. I'm 38 and a half weeks pregnant. CopperFit Energy Socks worked beautifully. Extra support around the arch and ankles for increased support and relief of muscle aches and pains. I'm so excited about these socks. I'm so much more energized to go do things after a day of work. They just slip right on, yet they still have that same compression that you want. A soft cushion footbed for all day comfort. I'm on my feet at least nine or 10 hours a day. These were fantastic. A lot of compression socks are a little too thin, especially for what I do with CopperFit. I could wear these every day. Feel more energized, feel more active, just feel better. They just hug your leg. It relieves all the pressure that you have. I have so much energy, I can go. Hey, you want to dance? The first ever easy on, easy off compression sock. The most comfortable compression sock you will ever wear. Get your CopperFit Energy Socks now online at GetEnergySocks.com for only $19.99 or call 1-800-614-1032. Order right now and we'll include a second pair of compression socks free. I've never felt anything like it before. No more pain, no more swelling, no more achy, tired feet. I can never go back to regular compression socks again. Don't settle for ordinary. Ask for the original by name, CopperFit Energy Socks. Are you? Grab me a box of two-inch slotted screws, please. Dad, we really 
we gotta organize this place. June, have a box of two-inch slotted screws, please. Got it. Here you go. Middle section, down by the bottom. Got it. Thanks, Dad. Looks good. Looks great. What are these for? It's time. If it matters to you, we'll help protect it. Travelers, it's better under the umbrella. Oh, my God. Oh, Belle, what's wrong? I have aortic stenosis, and I need to get open-heart surgery. Oh, Belle. I had severe aortic stenosis. I got TAVR. It doesn't require open-heart surgery, and most people go home the next day. You had your heart valve replaced? And I never missed a weekly visit with the grandkids. That's it. I'm calling my doctor and asking him about TAVR. Order your free TAVR information kit at JustGettingStarted.com. Welcome back to Mount Pleasant, Michigan, as Central Michigan retakes the lead 14 to 7 here in this first quarter. Lou Nichols already with two rushing touchdowns, tying a career high. Saturday Night Football, presented by Capital One, is a Big Ten battle in Bloomington. Number five Buckeyes taking on Indiana. It's at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Kickoff is fielded by Rudolph at the five. He is a dangerous return man, but he is ridden down at the 15. Nice tackle by Trey Jones on special teams. Yeah, you always wonder when you bring those things out, you got to get at least to the 25 yard line, and, and that was a little bit risky by Rudolph. But, but Rudolph's feeling himself a little bit. He had that huge. 100 yard kickoff return for a touchdown last week against Bowling Green. He is a explosive young wide receiver slash kick returner. Under four minutes to play here in this first quarter. Let's see how Rocky Lombardi responds. He'll hand it off to Jay Ducker and Ducker has got plenty of running room. <laughs> Man this guy burst on the scene last week had 210 yards and already just racking them up here this week. They're going to pull both the left guard and center. And they get those dudes on the outside, and they get really good blocks down the field. And then Ducker, just with that vision to, to bounce it outside and follow his lead, lead blockers, does a really good job. Gain of 27. Ducker already has 50 yards on the ground. Here comes the blitz. And the Chippewas dial it up correctly. That's Amir Sadiq with a tackle for loss. See Sadiq 34, top of your screen. Unblocked, I mean really unblocked. It's not even really a, a blitz by him. I mean, he just comes in there and, and makes the play in the backfield. He has really worked his butt off to, to work himself into the starting role. And the staff loves him. They, they said he's probably one of the most consistent players they've got on defense. Second and 12, Lombardi to the air, completes it to Richie. That'll bring up third and manageable. It's a good route. Watch this. Push, stem the receiver or the, or the cornerback off the ball and then come back to the football. And you're right, John, this is a, a much more manageable situation than a second and 12 or a third and 12. They can pick this up. I'm guessing through the air. I'm looking at Richie again, top of the screen. I'd go right oh, back to him. Here comes the heat by Central Michigan. They are showing blitz. Lombardi's trying to check out of it. Third and six. And Lombardi takes off himself, makes one move. How about the effort? It looked like he was going to be stopped a couple yards short, but he is down right at the marker, and that's a first down. He's a big guy to get on the ground. This was a design quarterback run all the way and they had the right call against the blitz because the blitz is coming off the right side and as he steps up in the pocket on the design quarterback draw he's a, a, a very big dude I mean he's not not an easy guy to get on the ground six foot three 220 pounds that play was flags before destined the for staff. failure False start. Offense, number 58. Five yard penalty. Still first down. It's on the center. That's Braden Patton. 
I don't think it mattered, John. That, that play was going to be a, a five to seven yard loss no matter what because that, that was a poor snap. And of course, they're going to get the center for the false start. So after the false start, it'll be first and 15 for the Huskies. Lombardi is pressured and he goes down. A loss of eight. Now, I'm not sure anyone pressured him. It looked like Lombardi just kind of fell down there. Yeah, this, this was the old turf monster, the ghost sack. And Troy Hairston's in there 13, and they bring a little pressure on the outside, but you see it better from this view. I, I think he just kind of trips over his feet as he tries to roll out the backside and sees Gage Kresge, the safety, coming in there on the blitz. That'll be the easiest sack Kresge will have in his career. Second and 23. Lombardi going deep, one-on-one -on -one coverage. No way! He caught it, Trayvon Rudolph. How about it? We do have a flag no right now. It'll be a gain of 41. The play is the first down. What concentration here by Rudolph. And, and I'm telling you, the, the defender, I, I think, in this situation, who is Kresge, number four, I think he sort of helps Rudolph a little bit as he kind of tips the ball up to him in the air because it bounces off of the, the helmet and shoulder pads, and then he's just bobbling and shows excellent concentration. My goodness, to make this play. I mean, it couldn't, even, couldn't be any more well defended by Kresge. But Rudolph just showing off that explosive ability. Looks like that we were was playing a game of third ball. That ball was just bouncing around. <laughs> My favorite game on Price is Right, by the way. Handoff is to Ducker. Tries to jump over a man. That's Devani Reed who brought him down at his ankles. As the clock winds down here in this first quarter, and that'll do it. What an exciting start of the ball game we have here at Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Both offenses have been explosive. Central Michigan's up 14 to 7, but Northern Illinois knocking at the doorstep. Welcome the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Want your clothes to smell freshly washed all day without heavy perfumes? Now they can with Downy Light in Wash Freshness Boosters. Just pour a cap full of beads into your washing machine before each load to give your laundry a light scent that lasts longer than detergent alone with no heavy perfumes or dyes. Finally, a light scent that lasts all day. New Downy Light, available in four naturally inspired scents. You know, if we take that wrapper back to the store, it can be recycled into other stuff. But well, I want my wrapper to be a hangliner! How about a park bench? Dad, you need to think bigger. Recycle your specially marked Crunchy Bar wrappers in store now. Stay tuned to save $10 on Tack Shaver. For a close shave, you need to get a razor and lather up. For a quick shave on the go, you need to settle for an electric. But what if you really want both? Nick Bolton here with the newest addition to our tactical line, the Bell & Howell Tax Shaver. Designed with the needs of our military in mind, Tax Shaver gives you a quick, razor-smooth shave, whether you're at home or on the go. It even has a built-in trimmer for sideburns and beards. And it works wet or dry for a great shave in even the harshest conditions. That's right, the Tax Shaver is completely waterproof. In fact, you could even use a tack shaver underwater and still get a great shave. Navy guys, tack shaver is small and compact, so it slips easily into any pocket. Yet it also has three powerful rotary heads that can easily take on even the coarsest hair. To prove it, I'm going to do something I never do. Shave. As you can see, it easily handled even my stubborn stubble. 
Now that's what I call military top. So let's review. Tack Shaver gives you a quick, razor smooth shave, features a built in trimmer, works wet or dry, even underwater, and has three powerful shaving heads. I mean, there's just nothing like it on the market today. Tack Shaver is $29.99, but act now and we'll take $10 off so you get it for just $19.99. And shipping is free. But wait, call or click today and you can get a second Tack Shaver. Just pay a separate fee. Tack Shaver is the only shaver that features genuine Bell & Howell precision and quality and is backed by our 10-year warranty. You can get two Bell & Howell Tack Shavers with this special TV offer. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-483-8689 or go to TaxShaver.com. Again, that's 1-800-483-8689 or order online at TaxShaver.com. At Tommy John, we believe you deserve the most comfortable underwear and breathable, supportive, lightweight stretch fabrics for the perfect fit on every guy. We believe in can't believe they never thought of that designs, like our stay put waistband and the horizontal quick draw fly. We believe the daily grind should only be in your coffee cup, not in your underwear. Plus, we guarantee no wedges, no adjustment needed. Feeling is believing. So upgrade now and get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com with this code. Canucks Kraken, tonight on ESPN+. Plus. ESPN, home of the college football playoff semifinals. Friday, December 31st on ESPN. Every time I hear that music, I feel like I'm in the club. Let's go, college playoffs. We got a good one here in Kelly Short Stadium, yes, we Central do. Michigan. Up by seven. Second and four. Start of the second quarter. Jay Ducker gets the handoff. And he will be stood up by Tyrese Woods. Short of the first down. That'll bring up third down. No gain. And how about this Central Michigan defense? On third down, they are first in the MAC, 11th in the country on denying their opponents. Yeah, it's 28% on third down. It's, it's really impressive. Especially, it's not a small sample size. I mean, we're seven games into the season, into our eighth game now with Central Michigan. They're really good. And you see the, the red zone scoring here for, for NIU. Uh, they're pretty good here, too, as well. Play clock winding down. It's at four. Third and four coming up for the Huskies. Got to get the clock playoff. Just in time, Lombardi rolling to his left, directing traffic. Jump ball. Incomplete. Great coverage by Kent. Dante Kent, the cornerback, broke it up in the end zone. They have really good job He's trying to get his, his uh, fullback out there. Ratkovich working against the cornerback, Dante Kent. Kent goes up for it at his highest points. Nearly comes down with the interception now. Do we take the three? Yes, we do. So Cannon Woodle, the freshman who was on because John Richardson did not make the trap, did not make the trip, a 26-yard field goal attempt. It is up and good. Woodle, the freshman, knocks it through. No, excuse me. Is that Matt Ference? Take a look at some of the action we got coming up later today on our ESPN Family of Networks. Number 10, Oregon travels out to L.A. to take on UCLA. That one coming up at 3.30 Eastern on ABC. Clemson, the underdog at Pitt, number 23. That one's over on ESPN. Alabama looking strong once again. They take on Tennessee. And the big one tonight, Ohio State. Do they avoid the upset on the road? That's at 7.30 Eastern at Indiana. Thomas Hammock in Northern Illinois have to settle for a field goal down by four here as we just one minute played here in the second quarter. Whittle kicks this one away. Fielded at the goal line. That's Bailey. 
trying to find the seam on the right side. A good return up ended around the 30 yard line. You're watching the All-State Saturday kickoff here at Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Kelly Short Stadium. A battle between two of the top teams here in the MAC. Central Michigan, their offense has been on fire to start this game. Two rushing touchdowns by Lou Nichols. This is Nichols again dancing, but doesn't get much. No gain on first down. It'll be interesting to see, John, if this NIU defense can get off the field. Because so far to start this game, the first couple of drives, this Central Michigan offensive line has just played bully ball. They've, they've been pushing the, the line of scrimmage the entire game and kind of done what they wanted against NIU. Richardson Lots goes to the air trying to find his fullback, Butchkowski, but off his fingertips incomplete. Really the first opportunity here for the Huskies to get off the field on a, on a third and long. See if they dial up a little bit of pressure. A little confusion on that defensive line to start this play pre-snap. Third and ten, Richardson out of the shotgun. He's going to take a shot downfield. His man's got a step. It's completed. Khalil Pimpleton just running away from everyone. A 72-yard strike. And Richardson, he is fired up. What a job by Daniel Richardson to stand in the pocket as the pressure is going to come from this NIU defense. And you can just see how electric Pimpleton is. Look at this. This is a... a Zero coverage blitz. And you're going to have the corner on the outside, Jordan Gandy. He's one of the better corners for NIU in man coverage on Pimpleton. Pimpleton's just going to beat him off the line of scrimmage. And Richardson shows tremendous toughness to stay in the pocket. And the Chippewas are rolling 72 yards to the house. 21-10, fire up chips from Mount Pleasant. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Ah, crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word, tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy crispy chicken sandwich. You usually can't see pollen, dust, or pollution. But you breathe it all in every day while you're driving. And your only line of defense, a basic factory cabin air filter. Most ordinary factory filters only block dust, but it's easy to replace your basic filter and upgrade to an advanced pure flow cabin air filter. PureFlow's advanced multi-layer antibacterial filtration technology blocks up to 99% of airborne contaminants from entering your vehicle, including dust, pollution, pollen, and odors. PureFlow cabin air filters with activated charcoal are also designed to boost the flow in your ventilation system, blasting clean, healthy air throughout the entire car. And you can easily install a new PureFlow filter in minutes, all by yourself. Visit pureflowair.com to order yours today. Pureflow, breathe better air. Welcome to Saturday Night Football on ABC. Ohio State trying to dodge the upset trap here. Ohio State, Indiana, tonight at 7.30 on ABC. When we... You're going to need a smaller cabinet. 
because now you can take all those supplements you're taking or not taking and replace them with this. AG1 by Athletic Greens brings 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens together in one place. It might just be the most comprehensive and convenient nutritional regimen on the planet. Immunity supporting, recovery enhancing, digestion improving, energy lifting, made to the strictest quality standards. Made New Zealand, made for just about everybody. Recovery makes you stronger. It's my weapon. With 36 years old and I still compete with the best players and I still maintain this shape. To be the best, you need the best. That's why I choose Terragun. If you watch football on TV, you need Fubo TV. Get complete NFL coverage, NFL Red Zone, plus games in 4K included at no extra charge. Try Fubo TV free at FuboTV.com. This offense for Central Michigan has not been stopped today. 21 points already as we get here in the beginning of the second quarter. Two 65-plus yard touchdowns today. Lou Nichols, a 66-yard rush. And then you just saw the bomb, the 72-yard connection from Richardson to Pimpleton. As that kick goes out of bounds, let's take a look at that last touchdown and see how Pimpleton got that space. Line. It's first down. Yeah, let's go back and look at this, John. This is seven guys inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count them are going to rush. Zero coverage, which means there's no safety help. That's Jordan Gandy in the slot on Pimpleton. And Pimpleton's just going to run a go ball. And it's a win route. No help in the middle of the field. And a well-thrown football by Richardson. And a house call for Khalil Pimpleton. Mason Blakemore is the running back. He gets the pitch, trying to stretch it to the outside. A good run on first down. Interesting, we have not seen Ontario Brown at all so far in this ball game. We talked to Coach Thomas Hammock this week, and we know Brown was banged up on the play that he fumbled against Bowling Green, but he said really it, was, it wasn't that he was hurt. He was more his pride was hurt after that right. fumble. I mean, with the way Ducker has played, I don't know that you need much more out of this this running attack because Ducker's been very productive. And then you've got the young Blake. freshman in, in Mason Blackmore. And, and Blackmore is you know, really talented as well. Blakemore stays in the game, gets another carry. Now they said Blackmore was having one of his best weeks of practice. So I'm, I'm guessing John, that's part of the reason we're seeing more Blackmore right now than, than it's on Ontario Brown. The fullback Clint Ratkovich in the backfield. Lombardi looking to throw in traffic, incomplete. He was looking for Richie. Great coverage by McCoy. Well, I'll tell you what, John, we chatted with Coach McElwain this week, and he talked about how surprised he is at the record because he knows how young the roster is and, and, and the inexperience that they have. Uh, I, I got to disagree with him. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good roster, and they look pretty darn good right now to start this football game. Third and eight for Northern Illinois. Lombardi. He's looking to go deep, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, stretching out, incomplete. Was looking for Messiah Travis on the sideline. So Matt Ferentz will come out to punt. First punt of the game for either team. It has been an all offensive game early on. Pimpleton, the deep man, calling for the fair catch at the 11. We will step aside. The explosive Chippewas offense coming back on the field when we come back. She's 
is eating the rocket. Copy that. She is eating the rocket. I assume we needed that. Launchables built to be eaten. She has eaten the rocket. Uh. Stay tuned to get a free five-piece utensil set and more from Gotham Steel. Tired of digging through a mess of pots and pans just to find the right one? Well, now there's Gotham Steel's Stackmaster Cookware. Non-stick, space-saving cookware that neatly stacks inside itself. Finally, you can have an organized kitchen with every pan and lid right at your fingertips. Stackmaster features a triple-layer titanium coating with our non-stick, super-durable cast texture surface. Nothing sticks to these pans. Everything just slips and slides. It's like cooking on air. You can chop right inside them without making any scratches. Even use electric metal beaters and everything slides right out. Not even a scratch. Plus, they're oven safe. Great for pot roasts or baking all the way up to 500 degrees. Even flames won't damage these pans. The entire Stackmaster set is dishwasher safe and made without any harmful PFOAs. Some high-end cookware sells for close to $500, but you won't pay that. Not $400, $300, or even $200. Today, through this special TV offer, get the full 10-piece Stackmaster cookware set for the factory direct price of just five payments of $39.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. And if you call or click to order today, we're going to drop one payment. You'll get it all for just four payments of $39.99 and we'll even guarantee it for a full 10 years. Plus, as a free bonus, you'll get our Stackmaster Fry Basket and Stainless Steel Steamer Insert. But there's even more. We'll also send you our five-piece utensil set. It includes every utensil you'll ever need in the kitchen. Together, these are a $60 value. Yours 100% free. That's a complete 17-piece set, a huge value, for just four easy payments of $39.99. And we'll even ship it to you free. Call or click now. To order, call 1-800-248-8063 or go online to GothamStackmaster.com. So call 1-800-248-8063. That's 1-800-248-8063 or go to GothamStackmaster.com. Welcome back to Kelly Short Stadium. Central Michigan on top, 21-10 to 10 early on. Let's take a look at our Week 7 Monday Night Football matchup. As the 3-2 and two Saints coming off a of bye, they'll be in Seattle to take on the Seahawks in their raucous 12-man crowd. Game is at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and the ESPN app. Now, ESPN2 will also have Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli Manning. Coverage begins for that. Monday Night Countdown at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. Geno Smith, baby. You just hang around in the NFL, bound <laughs> to get an opportunity. I, I was like a, the biggest Geno Smith fan coming out of college at West Virginia, and my fans on my radio show have not let me live it down because uh, I was, you know, he hasn't obviously had the best career, um, but we're having some fun watching him get, get a chance to start a little bit here in Seattle. Lou Nichols gets the rock, plenty of space. I mean, there have been some huge running holes early on up front for Central Michigan. Gain of seven. I'm telling you, this offensive line has been extremely impressive, led by their two tackles. And, and the interior guys are, are pretty darn good as well. So this is a really experienced offensive line. And, and really, with Lou Nichols running behind, I mean, this guy is, is for a redshirt freshman, really impressive. Wildcat Nichols hands off to Pimpleton on the sweep. He picks up the first down. Javon Bird on the stop. But before that play, Central Michigan was averaging 13 yards a carry. Take a look at 76. That, that's Bernard Raymond on the outside just pushing and pushing. That's Pierce Opong, the defensive end for NIU. And he just gets out leverage to the to the perimeter. So new set of downs for the Chippewas. Nichols in the backfield, and we've got a flag before the snap. False start. Offense, number 77 to five yard penalty. Still first down. That's Keegan Smith with the penalty false start. You know, we were talking about Raymond, and he was going up against Pierce Opong. Opong is not a small man. 6'3", 261, but he was just getting pushed around like he had no weight on him. So 
So after the penalty backs him up, it'll be first and 15. Nichols on the draw. Plenty of daylight. Jay Shaw Prophet saves the touchdown as Nichols comes up with another huge run. It's another big block inside as they're going to pull Keegan Smith around, and 77 is going to be the one that gets the kickout block and opens up, opens up the hole for Lou Nichols. Nichols now over 100 yards rushing on the ground with that pickup, a gain of 25. Quick pass the outside by Richardson. That's Ja'Cory Sullivan with his fourth catch of the day. I mean, he came in here with a hand injury, but you wouldn't know it. He has been looking good early on. John, this offense, you talk about cooking, they're averaging nearly 13 yards per play in this first half. That's it's unbelievable. Second and four. That's Marion Lukes with the carry. Short gain. I'll bring up third down. I, I don't know. If you're going to Illinois on defense, <laughs> what do you what do you do to slow down this offense right now? Well, the tough part is you're not winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. And so when you can't do that and you're getting pushed around, it's, it really allows Central Michigan to kind of pick and choose what they want to do. I mean, they can throw the football, they can run the football, they can do whatever they want. And right now they're just kind of having their way with the Husky defense. Third and three, almost picked off. Well, that's a good that's play. Dylan Thomas, the down. linebacker, he had his hands on it. That'll bring a fourth down. Pressure's going to come up the middle. 45, Makai Nelson Douglas just comes wide open in that A-gap opposite the center. And he's the one who gets the ball in the football. And we talked with uh, Coach McElwain. He said one, the, one of the concerns was with Richardson is he gets a lot of balls batted because of his size, being just 5 foot 10. There you saw the first one of the day, and that's a nice stop for, for the Huskies. It maybe stops the the the, the hemorrhage. Calls for the fair catch. Central Michigan is lucky because if Dylan Thomas picks that off, there is no one in front of him. That would have been an easy pick six. On a suspicious Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Howdy, Logan. Wonder if you can help me out with something. Sure, sure. Looking for a couple of goalposts. Went missing after the big win last night. What? That's awful. Who would steal a goalpost? Say, that is a nice new swing set you got there. Oh, this old thing it makes the boy happy, I guess. Interesting design. Oh, yeah, it's Scandinavian. You know what? You should check the streakers across the street. They have a very suspicious new antenna. Thanks for the tip. Anytime, Sheriff. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. This is so crispy, juicy, and tender, you might even call it deluxe. OK, now you can definitely call it deluxe. McDonald's Deluxe Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. New upgraded Axe body wash. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, baby? Keeps you clean and smelling refreshed for 12 hours. Your shipping manager left to find themselves, leaving you lost. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed Instant Match instantly delivers quality candidates matching your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash hire. Wubble Rumblers, WWE, tag in with WWE superstars Stone Cold Steve Austin, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Undertaker, and you for the ultimate Wubble Rumble. Here comes Randy Orton and Big E. Wubble Rumblers, WWE is off the top of fun for the whole family. You can choose your Wubble Rumblers, WWE superstar with this exclusive TV-only sticker sheet for $14.99 plus $4.99 processing and handling. Must be 18 or older to order. Each sold separately. Over 100 million Americans have a low credit score. 
itself is a new way to build credit that doesn't require a credit score. Plus, Self helps you save money every month and reports your payments to all three credit bureaus. Download the app today. Are you ready for not only 17 weeks, but 18 weeks of NFL action? Ready. ready. I was born ready. Yeah, baby. It's been all Central Michigan here early on, up 21 to 10 over Northern Illinois with under nine minutes to play here in the second quarter. Let's take a look at this week's college football rankings brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Number one team in the nation is not playing this week. Cincinnati in a battle at Navy. That game is all tied up at 10. How about Oklahoma? That's a shocker. Down yeah. 10 nothing. That one's at Kansas. And Michigan, Penn State early leads in their ball games. So Northern Illinois will start with the ball deep in their own territory. Handoff is to Ducker, lowers his shoulder. He's not going anywhere. Let's go back to that last offensive play by Northern Illinois. Dylan Thomas, he almost had a pick six here. It nearly does. I mean, if he, if he can just get another hand on this football, he would take this out the gate. Look at the, all that green grass off to the left side there. That would have been a house call. Very dangerous throw from the Chippewas. Tucker remains in the backfield. He'll get the rock on second down. Plunges forward. Just kind of gets tripped up down. there. It, it, it seems like he, he would have had more of an opportunity to maybe pick up that first down. Instead, he just falls down for about four yards. Both teams have been very efficient on third downs. The Huskies 50% on third down. It is third and six. Let's see what Rocky Lombardi, the Michigan State transfer, can do here. He's pressured. A lot of contact. Jock Wes Boy, I'm, I'm a little surprised. They're on the pressure. There was a lot of contact on the outside. See the pressure come on a look, just a twist. On the inside, Bristol's gets in there and I don't know. Letting them play. So back to back punts for Northern Illinois as Ferentz will boot this one away from his own one yard line. Pimpledon calls for the fair catch at midfield. An excellent starting field position for the Ch Chippewas. <laughs> Kick off for your Week 7 NFL Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific with the Countdown Crew on ESPN and the app. Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff will square off Sunday. You know it's going to be a good one. You, we hear their take on the blockbuster trade that saw them swap teams. Plus, Randy Moss sits down with Bengals receiver Jamar Chase. Get all the early breaking stories, injury updates, and previews right up until kickoff. So the best starting field position for either team today. Richardson trying to set up the screen pass. That's Marion Lukes. And it looked like they would have had a bigger gain than that, a gain of seven. They yeah, bring Pimpleton in motion. The defense kind of thinks Pimpleton's going to get the ball on a reverse. And it just. Slide it on the outside there. It was a well-designed play by the Chippewas. Nice job of the cornerback, Miles McGee, to blow that one up. Lukes is the back. A run up the middle, and he'll pick up the first down. <clears throat> Look at this. Job by Dylan Thomas just coming up there from his linebacker position. Call it the rover spot. One of the most athletic guys on this defense when we chatted with Coach Johnson, defensive coordinator at Jackson, I should say, at, at NIU. 
Richardson, nobody opens. He'll take off. Nichols in the backfield with Richardson to the air again, and he short hops his receiver. He was looking for Simmons. So another big opportunity here for the Husky defense to try and get off the field, John. I mean, they've had a back-to-back -back drives where they put him in third and long. This would be a nice stop to see if they can get, get some points on the board before halftime and, and get their offense back on the field. Third and six. Handoff is to Nichols. Wow. And on third <laughs> down, to be able to pick up a third and six on the ground. What a push. It's just the interior of this offensive line with the push. And the spin out by Nichols for the extra yardage and then again I mean they're averaging as I mentioned nearly 13 yards per play in this game Nichols already with a buck 29 you know he had a season high 186 yards back against Ohio earlier this year this is a day where he may be on on his way to another career high Northern Illinois stacking the box. They are trying to stop the run. Ray Thomas, he comes up to make the stop for a short gain on first down. Second and long, looking end zone, incomplete. That's for the tight end, Joel Wilson. Just a little too far over his outstretched hand. It's a great effort to try and die for this thing at the end, but just a little bit too much on that football. That'll bring up the eighth play of this drive that started on the Northern Illinois 49 yard line. Third and nine for the Chippewas. And the defense of Northern Illinois is going to call a timeout here. What do you think Coach Hammock saw there that caused him to call that timeout? Well, he probably wants to bring pressure again, and he saw something that, that made him a little bit nervous about the way that they lined up. And, and obviously here with uh, arguably one of the biggest third downs of, of the game defensively for NIU, you want to try and get this proper call in, in the game and try and get the football back to your offense. Say Thomas Hammock, he, he still looks like he can play, and I still wouldn't want to tackle him. <laughs> One of the best running back coaches in the country he was with the Ravens for five years, now turned yeah. into a head coach. Here's third and nine. Richardson airing it out. Touchdown. Ja'Cory Sullivan with a bum hand reels in the touchdown. And it has been all Central Michigan offense here in this first half. Well, the timeout didn't work. <laughs> you come out again and you bring the pressure. And, and this is why Daniel Richardson's getting the start, because he, he's just dropping dimes. I mean, he's feeling himself right now. This is a beautiful throw. Right to the corner of the end zone. The spot where only his guy can get it. Beautiful, beautiful touch pass for the touchdown. Marshall Meter tacks on the extra point. An 18-point lead for Central Michigan with five minutes to play here in this first half. 
Sullivan. Didn't know if he was going to play. He's missed some time. He's got a bum thumb. You wouldn't know it. Chips all over the Huskies. America! After the past year-ish, everyone deserves something new. So, AT&T is giving everyone our best deals on every iPhone, including the iPhone 13 Pro with its amazing camera. Like everyone that worked from home or welcomed a new family member. They're all out of dogs. Our deals are for everyone. It's not complicated. AT&T is giving new and existing customers our best deals on every iPhone, including up to $800 off the Epic iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro. Introducing Wendy's new fries. Guaranteed hot and crispy, or we'll replace them. They're even preferred almost two to one over McDonald's. Get to Wendy's and try our new hot and crispy fries for yourself. While expecting, Jennifer discovered the Chex Mix combination of one corn Chex, one wheat Chex, and three breadstick pieces. Get born and then you can pick your own mix, baby. Pick your mix. This football season, buy four participating items to save $50 off Fanatics gear at wearetailgatenation.com. So far, I've raised my credit score 39 points. 127 points. Over 100 points using Self. I would recommend Self to everyone. It feels really good. You should try it. <laughs> Who took my charger? Wait all the cookies! Why are you in my room? You need your own security force. Introducing SpyBots, high-tech security robots. SpotBot finds intruders with his powerful moving spotlight. If his alarm sounds, he caught someone. Not this time. <laughs> RoboEar. Put him up to 100 feet away, and you hear what he hears. Uh oh there's only one left. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Trip uses an electronic light beam to create a tripwire. Break the beam, and his alarm sounds and chases trespassers away. Room Guardian is your ultimate room security. Set your secret code, and no one gets in without it. Access granted. If they try, they'll be warned. And then he Intruder. goes for Intruder. You Intruder. can choose your SpyBot with the TV exclusive sticker sheet for $19.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. Each sold separately. Only from NSI. At Tommy John, we believe you deserve the most comfortable underwear. And breathable, supportive, lightweight stretch fabrics for the perfect fit on every guy. We believe in can't believe they never thought of that designs. Like our stay put waistband and the horizontal quick draw fly. We believe the daily grind should only be in your coffee cup, not in your underwear. Plus, we guarantee no wedgies. No adjustment needed. Feeling is believing. So upgrade now and get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com with this code. We weren't sure if Ja'Cory Sullivan was even going to play today. We knew he was going to warm up, but how about the start he has had? What an incredible ball game with his left, with his right hand, you can see there, all taped up. Central Michigan up by 18 with under five to play here in the second quarter. Kick is fielded by Rudolph. On the goal line, he's going to bring this one out again, tripped up around the 21. All right, let's take a look back at that touchdown by Sullivan. Yeah, this is Sullivan right here at the bottom of your screen. And you're going to see Pimpleton come across the formation. He's getting double teamed. And you've got man coverage on Sullivan. And he just kind of gets in, that, in a trail, uh, trail position, I should say. And a beautiful throw. There's... The two former high school teammates. Northern Illinois needs a good drive here to end this half. Jay Ducker, another strong run up the middle. First down. Vital for the Huskies to try and get some points here on the board before halftime because this is this thing could get away from them real quick Is it already kind of is? Uh, being 28 to 10 Get this thing to 28 17. You'll maybe have a chance in the second half Back to the ground with Ducker 
George Douglas brings him down by his ankles again at two. Look at those pads, man. That looks like old school right there. Was it all taped up? See what they do now nowadays, uh, John, is they 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 put this like double-sided tape on their shoulder pads before they put their jersey on, so that you can't get held. And it is very difficult to get those jerseys off after the games because they're they're so tight on on top of those shoulder pads. Under four minutes to play now. Back to the ground for the Huskies. It's Ducker again. Uh, surprised how conservative of an approach they are here with under four minutes to go in the first half and, and not considering, you know, taking some shots down the field. I'm guessing here in third and six, you're going to have to take a shot. On third and six, Lombardi is looking to throw, setting up the screen pass. That's the tight end, Miles Joyner. And what a play call. Joyner still on his feet with the stiff arm for the end zone. Oh, my goodness. 62-yard run by Miles Joyner. And Northern Illinois is right back in the game. But we do have a flag down. Holding. Offense, number seven. The ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Oh, oh look if we see that is just that is a, a killer. That's a it's a backbreaker because that was a huge, maybe momentum shifting type of play. And what an effort by Joyner down the field with a stiff arm to, to push his way into the end zone. Now he said number seven. Not sure who he's referring to. We don't see a number Rich, seven Rich, out there. Seven would be Richard Bowen. There Bowens. was no seven, so not oh, sure so who they were with referring the offense. to. Yeah, number, yeah, I don't know who they were, they were talking about there, John. So with a 10-yard penalty, it's now a 28-yard gain. Rudolph, the man in motion, pressured is Lombardi, and he is going down. Sadiq brings him down, assisted by Kresge. Back and, and see if we can see this hold again. Is it on Cox right there? 70 may have been who they, they meant to say instead of seven, or maybe we just misheard from the microphone. But 70 is Marcus Cox. Did you Cox. see much of a hold there, though? I, I, that, to me, if, that's, if that was the call that they were referring to, no, that was... Little ticky tack. Ducker on the run up the middle. Here's a look at Marcus Cox, the left tackle. I mean, it was a beautifully designed screen play. Oh, it's per perfect screen. Under two minutes to play here in this first half. Rocky Lombardi trying to drive down the field on third and ten. Play clock's down to four. They're going to hand off to Ducker on third and ten. Interesting call. That's surprising. Unless you're going to go for this, I, I don't. I don't understand the play call in third and ten. Thirty seconds. Clock operator. Great please effort there, buddy. Thirty-four on the game clock, please. One, one, Thomas Incum. So because Central Michigan came up with the stop, they're actually going to call a timeout here with one thirty-four to play here in this first Smart. half. Smart. Smart. Force them to punt the football, and, and maybe you get the football back with a little extra time. And the way that they've moved it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if the Chippewas try to go down and get some more points here before halftime. They, they, they've been kind of having their, their way with this Husky defense. Still, still trying to figure out that play call on third and ten. Was that, was that a case where the offense was just trying to catch the defense I don't know. off guard? With a... 
Yeah, a lot of times in those situations you'll run a draw play or a screen. But that was just a straight zone off tackle to the right side. Well, maybe they did that because they're setting up this play. They are going for it. Offense remains on the field on fourth and nine. Lombardi to throw to the sideline complete Tyrese Ritchie he was double teamed pulls it in for a gain of 15 and a new set of downs there is top of the screen you know he got to get past the sticks he does a good job and he knows he's got to catch this football between two defenders shows great strength with his hands catches the ball with his hands which is what you're taught to do has to go up and get it at its highest point terrific job and concentration on a big fourth down Back to the ground. This is Ducker, and he is just tossed to the ground by Jacquez Bristol. Well, you got to throw the football. I mean, you're running out of time if you're trying to get points here. And, and they've had success with both wide receivers, Rudolph and Tyrese Ritchie, on the outside. Got to take some shots. So after a three-yard loss, second and 13, back to the air. Trying a back shoulder throw with Richie, but off the mark. That'll bring up the 10th play of the drive. You see what Northern Illinois has done here on third downs. Got to at least Three get half this back. Got to get half of this back, John, to, to give yourself a chance. Or at least give yourself a chance for, for a field goal attempt. Third and 13. Pass is complete right at the 20-yard line. That's Messiah Travis with the grab. So Northern Illinois will call a timeout with 39 seconds to play here in this first half. And it'll bring up fourth down. Let's take a look at our four game schedule coming up tonight. Oregon at UCLA, Clemson at Pitt, Tennessee at Alabama, and you are Ohio State Buckeyes trying to avoid the upset on the road at Indiana. Always a tough place to play. Indiana sneaky good. Obviously, the injury to Michael Penix Jr. has, has hurt that offense, but uh, anytime you travel to Bloomington, it's it's going to be a, a tough one. And this is, this is, you know, probably the biggest game of the year for the Hoosiers. So, Buckeyes better be careful. C.J. Stroud, see his numbers this year. The young quarterback for Ohio State having a, a terrific year. Leads the FBS and QBR. So it's fourth and two, and they might have got Central Michigan to jump. Now both teams move, but I think that CMU may have been off sides first. Offside defense, number 17 with contact. It's a five yard penalty, results in a first down. Well, they called it on George Douglas, but it looked like it was Bristol up front. I thought it was 10. Yeah, it was 10, Bristol, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The officials are having a, a little bit of hard time seeing the numbers today. First and oh, 10, got, Lombardi got rolling out. He's got a man wide open. Trayvon Rudolph into the end zone. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. What a drive by the Huskies, capped off by a 15-yard touchdown grab by Rudolph. Everyone going off to the left side, and it's naked boot. Comes back out the, the backside, and Rudolph is, is wide open in the flat for the touchdown. So they'll go for two to try to make it a 10-point game. How about this formation? I never, I never Just the understand center this. over the ball. I never understand this formation. Unless they're going to check out of it and bring the guys back in. Rudolph is the man in motion. They hand off the ball to Rudolph. 
And then he throws it last minute. Whoa! Tristan Tavis on the reception. Wow. The two-point conversion is good. What a play drawn up by Northern Illinois. Tricky, yeah, so they're tricky. They're going to bring Rudolph in, in, in motion. Love the trickeration here by the Huskies. So he could run this or throw it. Decides just to kind of dump it off right, right there at the last moment to Davis. How many times do you have to practice a play like this for it to work in a game? <laughs> well, teams typically have uh, like one or two really like go-to two-point conversion plays, like in just in case you need it in, in a big moment. And yeah, you practice this quite a bit. So, and you get into a situation like this, you, you can execute. So that, that was huge because now it, it really brings the Huskies back into the game. We'll see what they can do with the football in the second half. Well, it was interesting with just under two minutes to play. It was Central Michigan who called the timeout on fourth down. Because well, they, they thought they, they, they thought they were going to punt. They thought that they were going to get the ball back, right? Right. And in Northern Illinois, the offense stayed on the field. They stayed aggressive, and they able to get back into this ball game only down by ten with 33 seconds to play here in this first half. And the one thing that Coach McElwain said to us this week was, was his team has had issues responding when they face adversity. And when they give up big plays in situations like that, you, you wonder how they're going to respond here in the second half because that's, that's the youth of this football team. And you know, when things are going well, you know, they're flying high. But right now, a little momentum, I think, maybe on the Husky side. Well, and you can see after the play, the officials had to break up some of the players, getting a little chippy out here. These guys know what on the line. Northern Illinois has won four games in a row. Central Michigan, after their big win in overtime against Toledo, they've won two in a row. Daniel Richardson, first and ten, will hand off to his running back, Lou Nichols. And Nichols, he's had himself a first half. Central may be calling a timeout here. Second of the half. It's going to be 30 seconds in length. Clock operator, please set the game yeah, clock to 23 <laughs> seconds, please. And yeah, why not? Because, I mean, NIU's got no timeouts left. So if you want to, uh, you, you can run the clock out at any point in time. And. You now with the eight yards on first down, give yourself a chance to maybe have a couple throws to try and get yourself into field goal range. In this half, Lou Nichols on 11 rushes has 138 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, he almost has 150 yards in the first half alone. So Central Michigan down to their final timeout on second and two, 23 seconds to play here in this first half. Richardson will just dump it off to Nichols. Nichols trying to find out of bounds, and play. he does get to the sideline, and that'll stop the clock at 17 seconds. It's a smart play. Take what the defense gives you, just kind of set up this little route to the to the backfield out of the backfield I should say to the flat and it wasn't necessarily a screen but Nichols does a good job smartly get, gets out of bounds another short play underneath but does timeout. not get out of bounds they're gonna have to burn that final timeout with 11 seconds to play All right, now let's take a look at today's celebration moment brought to you by Allstate. What a scene pregame here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, outside Kelly Short Stadium. <laughs> Whoever is running that grill, you get the grill <laughs> award. My goodness, can I get an invite to that tailgate next time? Absolutely. And then before I would the game, the Saginaw you. Chippewa Indian Tribe banging the drums, getting the Chippewas fired up. That worked because they had a hot start to this ballgame. Second and eight, no timeouts remaining for Central Michigan. 
Richardson plenty of time will dump it off to Nichols. The clock will stop momentarily on the first down as they reset the chains. But just three like seconds will have to get the guy set. Richardson's going to clock it here. Now he takes a knee. Oh, he took a knee. That was surprising. Oh, could, could have taken at least a shot to the end zone there at, at halftime there. I thought he was going to clock it because so he would have given him one more play, but instead he took a knee and will go into the half. Wow, that was interesting. That was That's really, a head really surprising. Yeah, it's a head scratcher, no doubt about it. Nevertheless, Central Michigan just dominant in that first half. 28 to 18, but Northern Illinois, they showed some life. That last drive of that first half, they were able to claw back. They got eight points on the board. You know. This is going to be a fun second half here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Don't go anywhere. More action when we come back. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. What about me? The one for me? You mean us? What about me? And me. How about us? Yeah, how about us? Great question. Wait, can I get one in green? Got one for me? What about us? Is there an EV for me? The EV for me? Us. What about me? Me? Introducing the OTM EV platform by General Motors. Everybody in. Oh. Fine, no one leaves the table till you're finished. Fine, we'll sleep here. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. Welcome back to the DIFY show, the show where others do it for you. Today we're going to DIFY a broken sewer line. The first step is to have HomeServe in place. HomeServe will do it for you with home repair plans starting at just $7.99 a month. The next step, we're going to roll these bocce balls towards that smaller ball. Oh, good roll. Did you feel that? That must have felt great. And that's how you DIY a broken sewer line. That's our show today. Let HomeServe do it for you with plans starting at just $7.99 a month. Go to HomeServe.com or call now. being the cradle of coaches. Meyer named Matt Coach of the Year. Can we become the best football team that we've ever become? Period. Hey, businesses, you all deserve something epic. So we're giving every business our best deals on every iPhone, including the iPhone 13 Pro. With 5G. That's the one with the amazing camera. Yep, every business deserves it. Like ones that reopened. We have an appointment. And every new business that just opened. Like aromatherapy rugs. I'll take one in blue, please. It's not complicated. AT&T is giving new and existing customers our best deals on every iPhone, including up to $800 off the Epic iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro. Bad boys are exciting. And Chip and Elves was a bad boy. If I say it, I'm the wine of dead. The Queen of Mad. The charges against her? Grooming young girls for Epstein. This can be dangerous. The ultimate streaming home for true crime, plus so much more. Discovery Plus. Stream for just $4.99. Throw yourself into every snap. Let's have a blast for the next three and a half hours. Three and a half, let's go. We're all on the same page. Good things come out of that. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. That was spectacular. Caleb Williams. 
Every week's a new challenge. We still have a lot of room to grow, but not like where we're at right now. Every week is a new challenge. Week 8 of the college football season. Welcome into your halftime report. Joey Galloway, Matt Perry alongside Joe. We don't have that marquee game we're keeping an eye on this week, but what is intriguing, we have four ranked teams that are actually underdogs against an unranked opponent. That's what we're going to be focusing on now. Number 25, Purdue, three-and-a-half point home dog against Wisconsin. Badgers have won the last 14 meetings of the series. Purdue coming off the upset of Iowa. Yeah, Purdue knocking off Iowa, jumping into the top 25, took care of the football, created turnovers. They do the same. They beat Wisconsin. 22nd ranked San Diego State, three-point underdog at Air Force. The host Falcons lead all FBS teams in rushing at nearly 340 yards per game on the ground. The biggest question here, a lot of people don't see a lot of San Diego State football because they play out west. Can they remain perfect on the season? Eighth ranked Oklahoma State, seven point underdog and aimed against Iowa State. The host Cyclones were ranked in the top 10 in the preseason. This is going to come down to how these quarterbacks play Spencer Sanders, Oklahoma State, Brock Purdy, Iowa State. Whoever takes care of the football has a chance to win. And in a matchup you can see on ABC tomorrow, number 10, Oregon, a one point underdog at UCLA. The visiting Ducks. Have won five of the last seven against the Bruins at the Rose Bowl. Interesting in this game, Oregon still has a chance to get into the playoff. They got to play well. Desmond Howard, what say you? Oregon's defense versus UCLA's offense. And don't look now, but the Bruins, they love to control the line of scrimmage. They've been really physical, especially in big games. When they played against LSU, they controlled the line of scrimmage, they dictated the tempo to the Bayou Bengals. I expect them to come out with the same mentality against the Oregon Ducks defense, especially when you're going against arguably the best defensive player in the FBS in Kayvon Thibodeau. And don't forget, behind him, they have one of the... Uh, he's like a tackling machine, this guy named Noah Sewell. So watching DTR, Dorian Thompson Robinson, and the Brewers offense and their ability to run the ball against Oregon's defense is something I'm going to keep my eye on in that matchup. Desmond, thank you. Kind of a weird line to think about Oregon. At one point, they go into the shoe and beat Ohio State. They haven't been the same team since. They've suffered a lot of injuries. So when you look at this one, Oregon at the Rose Bowl against UCLA, what piques your interest? And I think you said it. They haven't been the same team since that Ohio State game, and that's why they're the underdog, which you would imagine a top-10 team against an unranked opponent. Mm -hmm. They would absolutely be favored, not the way they've been playing. Anthony Brown has to play well. C.J. Verdell, Verdell is now out. Yep. So now Travis Dyes, who they'll lean on in their run game, who had 145 yards against Cal and one touchdown, but he's averaging 7.7 .7 yards per carry in the last three games. The key is run your offense through Travis Dyes. Try to be physical. You know UCLA will come in with a run game also. But you have to match what they do and play well, take care of the football, and have a chance to win. Yeah, C.J. Verdell was electric in this offense. There have been a lot of people wondering why Ty Thompson, the talented true freshman quarterback, hasn't been in for Oregon. But you made the perfect point. It's thought that maybe Ty's not ready. And Anthony Brown, at some point, has to step up if Oregon's going to stay in this hunt. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely on that one. Absolutely on virtual locks. You have a look at where we are now. 2-0 last week. America is two games under 500. Joey, we're inching closer to even. Yeah, I'm tired of inching. We got to get there. Yeah, four no this week. I want an inch and I want a mile. Virtual locks roller. You know it. You love it. It is back in the sweet smell of two and zero, oh, as mad of the people in America. Move it along. Let's go. Back on top of Joey Galloway. What are you gonna do about it? I'm coming out swinging. I like the Buckeyes minus twenty one. At Indiana. Now, historically, this has not been a fair fight. The Buckeyes have won 26 in a row, which I'm a part of that. I expect IU to be on the ropes in this one as well. This is an offense that packs a heck of a punch, Matthew. They're first in yards per game. They're first in points per game. And on the other side, it's a defense that has been picking on opponents not quite in their weight class. They have four straight games with a pick six. Ooh. So at the end of this game, when you look at the scorecards, and in this case, I mean my scorecard, I expect the Buckeyes to win by a knockout. Okay, America thinks we've got another slugfest coming between Michigan and Northwestern. They are taking the under uh -huh. 51. Okay. Now in this game, it's all about the calculations. Stay with me, okay? Michigan's defense allows only 12 points at home. Add that to the fact that Northwestern's scoring offense is 110th. Okay. Plus, the red zone offense is 122nd. Plus one more. 
Michigan might be holding back a little bit with Sparty next week. So this could be a test. It's under 51. Could be pleasing on the eyes, if you know what I Michigan mean. Michigan holding back. I was told there'd be no math, mm -hmm. but for my second pick, I like Wake Forest minus three against Army. Now, I had to take another look at this one just to make sure I was seeing what I thought I saw, the minus three. The Demon Deacons, they passed the eye test for me. This is an offense led by Sam Hartman that has scored at least 35 points in every single game this season. They're plus eight in the turnover margin. When we take an even closer look, you'll notice at Army's schedule, yeah. they haven't beaten a team with a winning record. So it's easy to see why I like the Demon Deacons minus three. Joey, I see what you did there. Uh -huh. And America, for the first time in history, is taking it over. Purdue and Wisconsin, over 40 and a half. Wow. I know what you're thinking. Uh-huh. You watch both of these offenses. It's as exciting as, as sometimes watching paint dry. Not even that exciting. Okay, here's the deal. When I look at the numbers, both of them average around 20 points a game. We're not being greedy. We're not asking for much. In fact, I bet we even sweat this one out. All we need is 41, America, and you will again go 2-0, taking the over 40 and a half. Oh, you're definitely going to sweat that one out. And here's your recap. Here's your 4-0. Bet all of your money. The heavyweight fight, America, we found our stride. Welcome to Allstate, where we've just lowered our auto rates. And savings like that follow you everywhere. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. She's eating the rocket. Copy that. She is eating the rocket. I assume we needed that. Launchables! Built to be eaten! She has eaten the rocket. Uh. Over. Each McDonald's crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich comes with juicy pickles. Although some may prefer to remove them, we don't understand you. But we respect you. McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich. While expecting, Jennifer discovered the Chex Mix combination of one corn Chex, one wheat Chex, and three breadstick pieces. Get born and then you can pick your own mix, baby. Pick your mix. This football season, buy four participating items to save $50 off Fanatics gear at wearetailgatenation.com. Stay tuned to save $10 on Tax Shaver. For a close shave, you need to get a razor and lather up. For a quick shave on the go, you need to settle for an electric. But what if you really want both? Nick Bolton here with the newest addition to our tactical line, the Bell & Howell Tax Shaver. Designed with the needs of our military in mind, Tax Shaver gives you a quick, razor-smooth shave, whether you're at home or on the go. It even has a built-in trimmer for sideburns and beards. And it works wet or dry for a great shave in even the harshest conditions. That's right, the Tax Shaver is completely waterproof. In fact, you could even use a tack shaver underwater and still get a great shave. Navy guys, tack shaver is small and compact, so it slips easily into any pocket. Yet it also has three powerful rotary heads that can easily take on even the coarsest hair. To prove it, I'm going to do something I never do. Shave. As you can see, it easily handled even my stubborn stubble. Now that's what I call military top. So let's review. Tack Shaver gives you a quick, razor smooth shave, features a built-in trimmer, works wet or dry, even underwater, and has three powerful shaving heads. I mean, there's just nothing like it on the market today. Tack Shaver is $29.99, but act now and we'll take $10 off, so you get it for just $19.99, and shipping is free. But wait, call or click today and you can get a second Tack Shaver. Just pay a separate fee. Tack Shaver is the only shaver that features genuine Bell & Howell precision and quality, and is backed by our 10-year warranty. You can get two Bell & Howell Tack Shavers with this special TV offer. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-483-8689 or go to TaxShaver.com.
Again, that's 1-800-483-8689 or order online at TaxShaver.com. Explore your passions. Turn dreams into realities. Get involved, connected. Bring your ideas, innovations, and artistry to life where your education is affordable, where you can make a difference, where you are welcomed, inspired, and challenged, where you can be a Husky. It all begins with a visit to NIU. It was all offense in that first half between Central Michigan and Northern Illinois. We are at the half, 28-18, the Chippewas with the lead. John Schriffen alongside my partner, Dustin Fox. And Dustin, man, we saw so many explosive plays in that first half. It was fun to watch. Yes, we did. Each team had, over, had four plays, excuse me, of, of over 20 yards. Let's talk about Nichols taking this one to the house to start the game. And NIU would come back with their own explosive play. They find their big tight end, or their big wide receiver, rather, Tyrese Ritchie, breaking tackles and spinning his way to the end zone. Khalil Pimpleton on the outside for the Chippewas in, on a big third down conversion when NIU brought the the house but there have been just so many explosive plays both these teams putting up offense central michigan averaging almost 10 yards per play if you like maction on a gorgeous saturday afternoon you've come to the right place it's 28 to 18 i think we've got a big second half coming up don't miss it Just think, he'll be driving for real soon. Every new Chevy Equinox comes standard with Chevy Safety Assist, including automatic emergency braking. Find new peace of mind. Find new roads. Chevrolet. What do we want for dinner? Burgers! I want a Wait. sugar cookie! I want a bucket of chicken! I want... No. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. Smell irresistible. The new Axe Effect. Projects, the projection gaming arcade that started it all, now has animated targets you blast on your wall. No TV or sensors needed. Just point projects at a blank wall, grab a blaster, and aim for your target. But stay sharp, they move fast. Digital scoring keeps track of your hits. You can play solo, head to head, or team up for co-op play. Swap slides to blast different targets. Go duck hunting or defend against UFOs. Projects comes with five built-in games that challenge your speed and accuracy. Plus, you can level up with three different skill levels. Because it's portable and battery-powered, you can play projects inside or out. Family gaming gets an upgrade. You can get the Projects 2 Blaster Set with three target slides and TV-exclusive sticker sheet, all for $49.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. It's the projecting portable arcade with animated targets that's a blast to play. It's Projects, only from NSI. The end goal is definitely the MAC championship. Are you going to fold or are you going to stand on all 10? We're all going after the same goal. This is the start of it right now. And Just getting the opportunity to chase a dream. Well, what we want to do is sustain that excellence. Go into a winning season year after year after year. But there's some teams that have a legacy, and there's some teams that are never forgotten. And that's something that we're trying to do this year. Welcome back to the... This is more than glass and steel and stone. It's all beauty, the measure of progress. 
It's where people meet people, where cultures and bonds are made between us, where we create things together, open each other's minds, raise each other's ambitions, and do together what we can't do apart. This is Space for Dreams. LoopNet, the most popular place to find a space. Watching the Allstate Saturday kickoff. Getting, start, getting ready for the start of the second half here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Let's get you caught up for our game summary. Central Michigan is dominating total yards, and they have a 10-point lead as we get start, get ready for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back inside our homes. John Schriff alongside former national champion with the Ohio State Buckeyes, Dustin Fox. And Dustin, how did Northern Illinois get back into this ball game? They have the ball to start this second half. Oh, a couple things. Number one, they've got to take this drive and find a way to get some points. And secondly, they've got to get off the field on third down. They've got to get this football back to their offense in, in a big way because they have not been able to slow down this Central Michigan offense at all. Their nice first drive in the game, they went 12 yeah. plays, 75 yards. They just haven't really been able to get that push from their defensive front. To, to get any sort of momentum or stops. I mean, the, you look at Central Michigan, they're averaging 9.7 yards per play. That's just not going to get it done. But the good news is they, they got the touchdown. They got the two-point conversion. They cut this to 10. And they've been here before. I mean, my goodness, you, you look back at that Wyoming game earlier this year. They were down, what, 24 points in the second half and come back all the way to take the lead and, and nearly win that ball game. So they've been in these situations before. Uh, they just got to settle down and find a way to get some stops on defense. Josh Ralston showing the strong leg, boots that one into the end zone as Northern Illinois will start at their own 25. Rocky Lombardi, coaching staff said he is confident, he is competitive, he is a guy who hates to lose and lose and it has just started to rub off on all the guys around him. Well, he's going to have to mount a comeback down by 10 here in the second half. He's been there before. As I mentioned, I mean they they did it against NI or against Wyoming and nearly performed one of the best comebacks of the season. Ducker gets the start in the backfield. That's a good start. It seems like every time he carries the ball, he just already has a huge head of steam already. And as it soon as he like touches he, it, he yeah. is quickly <laughs> upfield three, four yards down the field. Yeah, my goodness. It, it seems like he is just shot out of a cannon. You know, not getting touched for five, six yards down the field. Good push by the offensive line right there. That's a nice start to this drive for the Huskies. A gain of 11 on the carry, a new set of downs for Northern Illinois. That's Ducker again, slivering through the line. Up ends the ball guy. Good thing he got up there. Kresge is on the tackle. Slithering like a snake through this offensive line is Ducker. And you talk about the vision, and you got some big hosses up there up front. Yeah, maybe get away with a little bit of a hold right there on the outside, but a, a really good run again. Picks up about eight or nine. Let's call it seven on first down. So second and three as Ducker approaches 100 yards rushing on the game. Ducker again he is up over a hundred yards. Troy Hairston is there on the stop again at two. It'll be really interesting to see how the Central Michigan team responds if NIU gets points on this drive. Because uh, I, I was, you know, blown away by the commentary of Coach McElwain this week when he said, you know, listen, you know, we're 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 not that good. We're not good enough to withstand adversity right now. And we've got to do a better job when we get punched in the mouth of responding. And so now that we're going to have to see if this, this Chippewa defense can, can bow up. Ratkovich on third and one. He is stood up. I don't think he got it. He is going to be a full yard yeah, short of that marker. Take a look at this. 
front four of Central Michigan and just the, the pressure that they get inside. And Bristol comes over from his defensive tackle spot along with Hairston to, to get Rakovich on the ground. So decision time for Thomas Hammock, and I don't think this is a very, very difficult decision. As you, you've seen what, um, what CMU's been able to do offensively, I think you've got to find a way to get this first down. 10 of 13 on the season on fourth down. Rakovich again, and he didn't get it. Central Michigan defense comes up big. Dante Kent was there and on the stop. Boy, surprised they go back to the well with Rakovich when he was able to, to, to get nothing there on that third and one. They run a, a near exact same play, and you're just you're running into your, your own guys. You know, you need to do something on the perimeter or give yourself a chance. And really, the, the way that Ducker was running on that drive, I'm surprised you don't give him the football. Instead, you go to the fullback back-to-back -back plays. Don't know that I agree with that. those calls. So the Chippewas now taking all the momentum back. As Lou Nichols gets the carry on first down. Second and six, Richardson to the air. He's got a man wide open in the middle of the field. Pimpleton. Spun down is Khalil Pimpleton for the first down. A huge game. 20 yards on the pickup. So impressed with, with Khalil Pimpleton. Already over 100 yards for the day with that reception right there. How about Central Michigan using some pace? Ball is tipped at the line. Still Someone's finds a way to complete it to Dallas Dixon. There was pressure on Daniel Richardson here. I think Dylan, Th yeah, Dylan Thomas, 16, is the one that gets in there. And somehow this football is wobbling. It's it's tipped. It's <laughs> it just makes its way to Dallas Dixon. Handoff is to Nichols. And Ray Thomas is there on the stop in the middle. Coaching staff told us with Lou Nichols, the more you feed this guy, just the stronger he gets. He is a violent, punishing runner. Here he is on second and goal. Nichols is out in space, but he dropped it. And Makai Nelson Douglas was in coverage there, and I, I feel like Nichols could have caught that and, and maybe scored if he's able to cut back inside Nelson Douglas. Take a look at this just on the outside. This football is thrown fine. Just got to catch it. Hits both your hands. Maybe here's a little bit of footsteps from Makai Nelson Douglas, but that was a, that's a drop by Lou Nichols. You had that effect on running backs when you came up from your <laughs> secondary spot too, right? I don't know about that. Hear those not footsteps those, coming. Those big, not on those big tailbacks. <laughs> Third and goal. The toss is to Nichols. Makes a move at the 10. Knocked down at the 4. A gain of 6 will bring up 4th down. So decision time for Chip was Richardson's telling McElwain, let's go, let's go, let's go for this. And, and they've got to make a decision as to whether they're going to take the field goal or attempt to go for it. What do you do here? You take the points, you go for them, fourth down. Uh, I would probably take the points in this situation, but remember, if you don't get this, you don't convert this, you're, you're going to pin NIU way back. He's wide Richardson, open. they're going for it. Wide open touchdown. Joe Wilson, the tight end, was all alone. They dialed it up on fourth down, and it worked. John, they, they could have went 
to either side. Uh, there, 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 there was a, a, a wide receiver running off to the right that was wide open. I think that was Sullivan. They come back to the left side, and he finds his tight end, Joel Wilson. A lot, a lot of misdirection, confusion there in the back end with NIU. And, you know, that would have been a huge stop for the Huskies. If they were able to get off the field. Instead, they can't. They, they roll the dice. The Chippewas. Extra point is good by Marshall Meter. Yeah. How about Central they Michigan off. responding? We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Welcome the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Brett Favre, legendary quarterback. Jerry Rice, legendary wide receiver. You ready for your weekly beating? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do this. Let's stack the deck. When legends play, they wear Copperfit Advanced Back Pro. Copperfit's best-selling compression back support just got better with new double-band adjustable supports for customizable compression when you need it most. Since I put this on, I feel so much better. The core is the most important Absolutely. thing, to know that I'm stabilized here. Whatever I'm doing, I can give it 100%. Four built-in stabilizing supports designed to improve posture and help reduce lower back stress and strain. You have back pain, and it's affecting your everyday life. You do something. If you can find something to help you get back out and be active like CopperFit, go for it. Absolutely. Do not give up. A high-performance compression fabric infused with the powerful properties of copper, 360-degree flexible mobility, and lightweight, durable construction. Nothing more painful than having back pains. If you're aching, if you feel like you can't work out anymore, you can. And that's with CopperFit. Yeah. Well, it's for all of us who still want to be active. Still want to compete. Way to go. That's what I'm talking about. Man, this really does feel good. It feels to me like the fountain of youth. Copperfit's best selling back support just got bigger, badder, and better. Or call 1 800 601 4542 or on the web at advancedbackpro.com. Get yours now for only $19.99. This does feel good. That's what I've been saying. You think it was fair? It was fun. <laughs> Play for the love of the game. Copperfit, live limitless. Ready. Welcome to Saturday Night Football on ABC. Ohio State trying to dodge the upset trap here. Ohio State, Indiana, tonight at 7.30 on ABC. After the defense got a stop on fourth down, the offense converts on a fourth down of their own. The connection from Richardson to Wilson, it was pretty. Yes, it was. And boy, they we'll go back and look at it here in a minute because there was uh, multiple guys running wide open. There was options Josh for Olsten Daniel Richardson. Things away for Central Michigan. High bounce, and it does go into the end zone. Nice job by Rolston. All right, let's go back there. All right, let's take a look at that play. All right, so you've got Pimpleton and the tight end Joel Wilson. Both these guys, we're going to highlight both of them because they're going to both go in crossing patterns. And look, Pimpleton's wide open, and so is Wilson. So take your, your pick if you're Daniel Richardson. He's got options. And a lot of miscommunication in the back end. You see a lot of guys uh, from NIU looking around saying, what the heck? Who's... Who's got who? A lot of confusion. Richie is the man in motion. Lombardi looking to throw Aaron this one out, and he's got his receiver, Trayvon Rudolph, still on his feet. A quick strike by Northern Illinois, 75-yard touchdown. Longest pass completion of the season for the Huskies. 
Wow, talk about a response from NIU as you just had a, a, an opportunity to stop Central Michigan on fourth down. And, and then the Huskies come right back and they might be going for two here again. I think they are. So Northern Illinois going for the two point conversion that would make it a nine point game. I don't know that I get this. Jay Ducker in the backfield. Lombardi, he's throwing. End zone complete. Wow. Miles Joyner completes the two point conversion. And Northern Illinois, one play, quick strike, right back in this game. Trayvon Rudolph. The young freshman wide receiver had a 100-yard kickoff return last week. What's he do? He comes back with a 75-yard house call showing you that speed, that electrifying speed. He's got a ball game, folks, in Mount Pleasant. Welcome to Allstate, where we have all new lower auto rates. And savings like that will make everyone feel like an MVP. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. On a spooky Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Sheriff, come quick. Rico's about to enter the transfer portal. Rico, you don't need to transfer. Have you seen the latest depth chart? I'd be lucky to play it down this year. But you're only a sophomore. There's still time. Rico's time is now. You know, I never really saw much upside with Rico. Hey, anybody need a punter? Punter? We're good. Oh, brought Dr. Pepper. Welcome, Welcome to, to state. state. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. You know, if we take that wrapper back to the store, it can be recycled into other stuff. Well, I want my wrapper to be a how about a park bench? Dad, you need to think bigger. Recycle your specially marked Crunchy Bar wrappers in store now. You have the best pizza in town and the worst wait times. Table four up. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed Instant Match instantly delivers quality candidates matching your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash hire. Who took my charger? I had all the cookies. Why are you in my room? You need your own security force. Introducing SpyBots, high-tech security robots. SpotBot finds intruders with his powerful moving spotlight. If his alarm sounds, he caught someone. Not this time. <laughs> Robo Ear. Put him up to 100 feet away, and you hear what he hears. Uh oh, there's only one left. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Trip uses an electronic light beam to create a tripwire. Break the beam, and his alarm sounds and chases trespassers away. Room Guardian is your ultimate room security. Set your secret code, and no one gets in without it. Access granted. If they try, they'll be warned. And then he it goes for a You can choose your SpyBot with the TV exclusive sticker sheet for $19.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. Each sold separately. Only from MSI. It's been all offense today. Just a nine-point ball game. Northern Illinois in the quick strike. Dustin, break down this last play. It was nice. Well, take a look at, at Gage Kresge. That's the safety we've got circled right there, and you're going to see Rudolph in the slot. Corners coverage, so Kresge's going to come across to help out on the back side, and he just takes a bad angle because if he, if he he's looking at the quarterback instead of looking at the wide receiver, and if he takes a better angle, that's maybe an interception, at least a tackle and not a touchdown. So just a poor angle that you, you can see that's why the, the explosive play happened. Woodall will squib this one down the field for Northern Illinois. Keegan Kasu, the tight end, will fall on that one, and the Chippewas offense will come back on the field, led by Daniel Richardson. We talked about in the open, he wasn't the starter. He came on in the fourth game of the season against FIU. They were down by 17, mounted a comeback in the fourth quarter. And this offense has looked completely different with Richardson at the helm.
Handoff is to Nichols, makes one cut, turns up field, a short gain of one on first down. Michael Kennedy was there on the tackle. Boy, the, the way this game has, has gone, uh, I think we're in for like a, a really interesting finish because it felt like Central was just going to kind of run away with this thing because their offense was, was so explosive. And then all of a sudden, like NIU woke up and decided they, they want to play a little football here on this gorgeous Saturday afternoon from Mount Pleasant. And very impressed. I mean, it's, it's been like full matching. If you, if you <laughs> love the hashtag and social media and all that stuff, this, this game has had uh, every bit of matching that you would see on a, on a random Tuesday or Wednesday night. It's, it's been a lot of fun. That is Cade Haberman, who is the man down right now. The medical staff for Northern Illinois is attending to. And that's a great sign as Haberman gets up to his feet and will walk off on his own power. Saturday Night Football presented by Capital One. The Big Ten battle in Bloomington. It's the number five Buckeyes against Indiana. It's at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ABC. Also, you can find it on the ESPN app. One app, one tap. How about this? The last time the Hoosiers beat the Buckeyes, 1988. Who was that, Coach Mallory? Way back when? It's been a minute. That's a throwback right there. Second and nine Coach for Bruce. the Chippewas. Richardson is pressured. He's going to dump it off to Nichols, but Nichols goes nowhere. That is the first tackle for yeah. loss for Northern Illinois today. Well, that's a way to start a drive for your defense. Now, the problem has been third down. I mean, both teams have really been efficient on third down, especially Central Michigan. They've been converting at a, at a very, very high clip. And now this is a situation where you wonder if NIU is going to still bring pressure, as they have done in, in times past, or are they going to sit back and play a little zone coverage and, and just bring four up front? Dixon, the man in motion on third and long. Richardson pressured, trying to find somebody. He's going to air it out and throw it out of bounds. I think it went to the student section. <laughs> Somebody got a souvenir. So how, how about, about that stop for Northern how about Illinois? That for, the, for the Huskies? That is the first three and out today for Central Michigan. Luke Elzinga will come on to punt for the Chippewas. Elzinga, that is a really nice punt. It'll bounce. We'll take an actual Northern Illinois bounce out around the 43s. We will step aside as the Huskies have retaken the momentum here, down by nine here in the third quarter. Are you ready for Monday night? Stay tuned to get a free five-piece utensil set and more from Gotham Steel. Tired of digging through a mess of pots and pans just to find the right one? Well, now there's Gotham Steel Stackmaster Cookware. Non-stick, space-saving cookware that neatly stacks inside itself. Finally, you can have an organized kitchen with every pan and lid right at your fingertips. Stackmaster features a triple-layer titanium coating with our non-stick, super durable cast texture surface. Nothing sticks to these pans. Everything just slips and slides. It's like cooking on air. You can chop right inside them without making any scratches. Even use electric metal beaters and everything slides right out. Not even a scratch. Plus, they're oven safe. Great for pot roasts or baking all the way up to 500 degrees. Even flames won't damage these pans. The entire Stackmaster set is dishwasher safe and made without any harmful PFOAs. Some high-end cookware sells for close to $500, but you won't pay that. Not $400, $300, or even $200. Today, through this special TV offer, get the full 10-piece Stackmaster cookware set for the factory direct price of just five payments of $39.99. 
$19.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. And if you call or click to order today, we're going to drop one payment. You'll get it all for just four payments of $39.99 and we'll even guarantee it for a full 10 years. Plus, as a free bonus, you'll get our Stackmaster Fry Basket and Stainless Steel Steamer Insert. But there's even more. We'll also send you our five-piece utensil set. It includes every utensil you'll ever need in the kitchen. Together, these are a $60 value. Yours 100% free. That's a complete 17-piece set, a huge value, for just four easy payments of $39.99. And we'll even ship it to you free. Call or click now. To order, call 1-800-248-8063 or go online to GothamStackmaster.com. So call 1-800-248-8063. That's 1-800-248-8063 or go to GothamStackmaster.com. Are you... This is how Cammie got me to switch to Aldi. I love Aldi, but he didn't think it was worth it. We threw a party for the game, but then... We ended up beating the entire neighborhood. And I'm like, well, this must have cost a ton of money. Nope, spent hardly anything. We couldn't have done it without Aldi. Friends don't let friends pay too much for groceries. I want your help. Officer down! Officer down! There's something I need. Equalized. You are a real life hero. Watch your back. I have done what I can to keep people safe. It's what I was put on this earth to do. And I'm not stopping. A new Equalizer, Sunday on CBS. Illinois fighting back into this ball game down by nine on the road here at Mount Pleasant, Michigan. But Northern Illinois does have the ball here in the third quarter. Feels like this is a big drive in this game, doesn't it, Dustin? It does. It does. No, no question. And, and this is where I talked about the the momentum shifting and how do the Chippewas respond best field position starting for the day for the Huskies Ducker with a huge hole on the left side just does get tripped up or else he would have been gone Watch the block on the outside and they're doing a good job pulling from the backside that's Patton Coming over from his guard spot or center spot, I should say, pulling as well with uh, with Lippy, and they do a really good job sealing off that edge and allowing a Ducker the, the free lane. Ball is step. on the turf. The toff to Blakemore went through his hands. Lombardi does jump on it. It's just a. I don't. I don't. I think he turned the wrong way. It feels like he. he he should have turned just off to his right. He, he did like a pirouette to, to toss the football. And that threw off the timing of the toss. And, and now you're in second and 25. Blake Bourne remains in the backfield on second and 25. Lombardi to throw. Caught by Richie, breaks one tackle and somehow gets the first down. How about drawing that one up on second and 25? And going back to the well again on the outside, just a little stick route, goes up about 10 yards, bam, comes back to the football, and then you got to make a man miss. Makes Reed, or excuse me, Dante Kent miss on the outside, number 19, and then Richie's up the sideline for the first down. That just can't happen. You can't give up a second and 25, especially to just to an outside hitch. A gain of job 28. Handoff this time is to Blakemore, and he is blown up in the backfield. George Douglas was the first man to stop him. A loss of two. Marcus Cox is down.
So Evan Buss will come into the game for Marcus Cox at left, at left tackle. Lombardi is back to throw. Throws the outside, a dangerous pass. That one is broken up by Rolian Sturkey. I thought Sturkey got there maybe just, just a hair bit early, uh, but nonetheless, good coverage. Now brings up a third and 12. And, you know, as, uh, as Thomas Hammock has been gambling all day, I mean, you, you talk about, hey, can you pick up half of this and, and give yourself a chance to, to maybe have a fourth and five or six to go for it? Well, we know they don't have their normal kicker, John Richardson. He did not make the trip. They've got the freshman kicker, Cannon Woodrow. Thrown to the outside, connects with Richie down at the 20 yard line. Great effort by Richie to come back to the football. Well covered by Sturkey. And then he turns around, just extends to try to get a couple extra yards. So now it's a fourth and a two. This is. Uh, a much, much more manageable situation uh, for the Huskies. And if you're wondering about the kicker, John Richardson, we did not get an explanation of why he did not travel. We were just told that it is not disciplinary reasons. So fourth and two for Rocky Lombardi in this offense for Northern Illinois. Wildcat handoff is to Rudolph, and he breaks through to get the first down. Dante Kent on the tackle, but Rudolph able to get three yards. Well, this was nearly broken up in the backfield. It's just a little shovel pass. And you look there, it, as George Douglas, 17, nearly stops him for a loss. But you, you look at the effort from Rudolph to fight for those extra yards and, and to pick up that first down. How much does not having your kicker play into the going for it on fourth down so much today? I would say it's, I'd say it's huge. Especially when you're, you're, you're down here in the red zone, you're down nine points, and you've, you've been down 18, and you're trying to cut into this lead. I think it's huge. Oh, that's a good tackle. Really good tackle by Trey Jones. Looked like for a second, an open field Jay Ducker. On Jay Ducker. Yeah. Yeah, Ducker's tough to get on the ground in the open field. Trey Jones comes up. You got to grab cloth, and that's what he does, and he just kind of slides down his leg and, and circles it to get him on the ground. So Ducker stays in the game in the backfield on second and nine for Northern Illinois. Lombardi quick pass to the outside. That's Richie. Stumbles, gathers himself, and somehow finds a good gain on second and nine. That's a gain of seven. And to bring up the balance. Third and short, McCoy on the tackle. What the balance of Richie. I mean, he, he's, he, he nearly stumbles right there and somehow gathers his, himself himself in, in, in spins and spins and picks up about you know, seven yards. Very impressive. We can see Richie a little winded on the sideline getting a break. This is the 10th play of this drive coming up on third and two. You see the line shifting twice. Now they line up on the right side. Ratkovich in the backfield. He gets the carry. And it's going to be close once again, but looking at the spot, it looks like he got it. I think he got it. Yeah, and the official's going to say first down. First and goal for the Huskies. So looks like a completely different team here in the second half. half. I mean, this has really been the story of Northern Illinois' season. They've been in pretty much all of their games. Their four wins against FBF teams have come by one possession. Play clock winding down, and here come the penalty flags. That'll be on the tight end. Liam Sorahan called for the false start. It'll back him up five yards. So 
So first and goal from the 11. Tucker gets the carry left side and he is met by a wall of Central Michigan defense. No gain. I mean, look at the big wins for Thomas Hammock and his Northern Illinois squad. They started the season with a win over Georgia Tech. That was this year. They beat Nebraska 2017. Now, some of these wins obviously before Hammock got here. But this program, they can knock off some of the big guys. No doubt. Under two minutes to play here in this third quarter. Lombardi throwing complete to Travis. And he is body slammed to the turf by Sturkey. <laughs> And Travis is going to be in the in, uh, the outside here comes inside as they try to get him open but Sturkey doesn't doesn't bite he's right there and a little hip toss there on the tackle now is this four down territory again here on third and goal I would say no uh, not in this situation because it's a nine point game uh, you want to get it to, to, to be a one score game uh, here John and, and that's why I think they've been going for two so third and goal Lombardi to the air incomplete was looking for Fabian McRae in the end zone. Yeah, I would take the points here in this situation. You've got all the momentum right now and you can get this down to to be a six point game. And it's a much, much easier kick than when you were you were outside the 25 yard line. So here's the freshman kicker. He made his first career for field goal earlier. And this one from 24 yards out is good. The freshman Cannon Woodhill comes up big two for two in his first start. And it is back to a one possession game. Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli is back on ESPN2 at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, breaking down the Saints Seahawks game from their couches. Special attention, of course, paid to the quarterbacks, Jameis Winston and Geno Smith. Monday Night Football coverage is also available on ESPN and the ESPN app. How cool is it watching those guys breaking down the quarterback, quarterback <laughs> position? I love it. I wish it was every week. Can you see Arch Manning. How about right? Arch? Yeah, last yeah, night. The big touchdown run Manning. last night. Number two recruit in the nation. Ton of scouts watching that game last night. Pretty cool to see it on ESPNU. So Northern Illinois. Coming back, back within just six points of the game. Luke's returning this one, gets through, but just loses his feet. Down around the 26 yard line. How about some midweek oh, action? We love when this coming. comes back. It's coming. This is what we've been waiting for. Tuesday, November 2nd. Look at the slate of games. Miami against Ohio. Ball State, who has been surging as of late. I love the way Ball State offense looks right now. And then Eastern Michigan at Toledo. That is always a tough place to play. Tuesday night, I love it. Can't wait. Can't wait for the midweek matching. Richardson quick out to Pimpleton. And he'll get out of bounds. I love those midweek games because it's all eyes on the Mac. And there's so many good teams and so many NFL caliber players in this league that it gives these guys the attention they deserve on the national stage. And it, listen, it's, it's really good for recruiting. And the coaches don't necessarily love the fact that they don't have a, you know, a big crowd on a Tuesday or Wednesday night. But to get that national stage to put your program out there is, is uh, well worth it for the, for the teams. 
Joel Wilson, the tight end, will catch that one, get out of bounds. Wilson's been a big part of this offense so far for the Chippewas. He came into the game, 17 receptions on the season, one touchdown, already has a touchdown today. So, well, that'll do it. Course. For the third quarter, put him up. Four fingers in the air. It is time for the fourth quarter here at Kelly Short Stadium. Just a six-point game. This is so crispy, juicy, and tender, you might even call it deluxe. Okay, now you can definitely call it deluxe. McDonald's Deluxe Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hey, I can tell you're a fan. Lucky for you, nothing keeps you connected like AT&T 5G. 5G, huh? Is that fast? Oh, yeah, it's fast. And is it reliable? Definitely is. What about secure? Oh, yeah, it's secure. Mm, love it. How many of those you got? I don't know. You're very good at whatever this is. You flatter me. It's not complicated. AT&T 5G is fast, reliable, and secure. You know, if we take that wrapper back to the store, it can be recycled into other stuff. Well, I want my wrapper to be a hang glider! How about a park bench? Dad. You need to think bigger. Recycle your specially marked Crunchy Bar wrappers in store now. We make sit down chicken, stand up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. Okay, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger that's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. too. Hey. Really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision. An SUV built around you. All of you. Fine. No one leaves the table till you're finished. Fine. We'll sleep here. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. Laser X, the number one whole laser tag game on the planet. The revolution continues with the micro and ultra long range blasters and the all new Laser X equalizer. Join team red, blue, or whatever color you choose. The revolution blaster has quick slide reload and 300 foot range. With the all new micro blasters 200 foot range and built in receiver, you can play blaster to blaster and quickly get in the game. Ultra long range blaster features rapid fire and has the longest range of any Laser X ever, over 500 feet. The equalizer lets you attack two different ways, on the ground or through the air. You blast multiple opponents at once. With Revolution, just pick a color and you're ready to play. The Revolution blasters work with all generations of Laser X gear, inside or out, day or night. With an unlimited number of players, the whole neighborhood can play. You can get the brand new Micro Blaster double set for $29.99 and shipping is free. Batteries not included, extra blasters sold separately, plus be 18 or older to order. The original, the ultimate Laser X. Anyway, that's the control room. A lot of chaos there, but it all looks good when it comes out on the show, actually, thanks to those people. Then over here in the digital center is our highlight screening area. So that's where we get all the games uh, that are played that night, down in a 90-second or two-minute clips or whatever you're going to see on sports Center right now. This hallway, it runs between, you know, both rooms. You know, if you want to get from the control room to the screening, then this is the hallway you'd take. Questions or anything? I can answer whatever you want about the place. You know, nothing? So glad you could be with us, John Schriffen, alongside my partner, former national champ with Ohio State Buckeyes, Dustin Fox, as we get ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Central Michigan with the ball, first and ten. It's a handoff to Lou Nichols. And we talked about the run game, but really it's been through the air for Central Michigan. The pair of wide receivers, Corey Sullivan, who we didn't even know was going to play today, and Khalil Pempleton 
These guys have been together since fourth grade. How cool is it that they've stuck together for so long? Yeah, played high school football together, born one day apart, and both have had really pretty solid afternoons. Richardson looking downfield. Can't connect with Sullivan. That was going to be a tough grab, especially with one hand. Pretty good numbers for the Muskegon connection, both with five catches. And Pippleton is, you know, really explosive. He, he has been really fun to, to watch this afternoon. When you mentioned Sullivan playing with that banged up thumb and he's got a, got a little tape or, or cast on it on it to, to it's tough to make catches but he's got five on the day that's a big stop right there by the big fella James Esther inside also a big hit from the safety position Jay Sean profit coming up to make that tackle so fourth and three what do the chips decide to do they're gonna punt Luke Elzinga is going to come on to punt as Richie is the deep man for the Huskies. So Northern Illinois will get the ball back only down by six. Let's take a look at the slate of games we got. Coming up later today on our ESPN family of networks, Oregon UCLA, Clemson Pitt, Tennessee, Alabama. Now, I know you're a little biased, but what do you think is going to be the best <laughs> game that you're looking forward to? Oh, goodness gracious. I, I, I really like the Oregon US, UCLA game uh, that will be starting here momentarily. I think that's going to be a good game. And obviously, uh, you know, I'll have my eyes on, on the evening matchups there with, uh, with Bama and Tennessee and obviously the Buckeyes. Being my alma mater. Jay Ducker. He keeps running up the middle, and it seems like every time the hole is just wide open. Take a look at this. Just inside. His vision is just incredible. To be able to just find that hole, pick and feel his way through it, and, and pick up the first down. I'm frankly, I'm a little surprised we haven't seen more of him. Because it seems like he, he every time he touches the ball, and you mentioned this earlier, John. It's like he shot out of a can. I mean, he, he's, he's the most explosive guy that I've seen for this offense this afternoon. 131 yards, gets another touch, breaks through an arm tackle. Not only does he have speed, he's got the power to just run through dudes. That's a 12-yard pickup. Let's take a look at his day. Look at the vision. I, I just can't say enough about his, his awareness, his instincts to cut back against the grain when, when necessary, to break tackles. You talked about John, his power, physicality for a guy who, he's not the biggest guy in the world. He's 5'10", 185, but he runs really, really well with lowering his, his pads and, and bringing the, the boom as well. Here comes the blitz. And Central Michigan dialed that one up correctly. Thomas Incum on the tackle. When you're a former running back like Thomas Hammock, a former running back coach in the NFL, you know you're going to take pride when you get to be a head coach that your run game has got to be legit. <laughs> when you're a former 1,000 yard rusher at your alma mater, you definitely take pride in that position. Lombardi putting some air underneath this one. He's got Richie. It's a race to the end zone. Marked out at the two-yard line. Another big explosive place. A gain of 50. Richie was wide open, and this was a beautiful throw by Rocky Lombardi to the outside. I'm, I'm wondering if he stays in bounds here. He dives at the last moment. Is he out? I guess they won't take a look at it. Quick handoff is to Rakovic. The fullback gets stuffed at the one. Let's take a look at the end of this catch. The effort from Richie's incredible as he dives for the pylon. Does he step out? 
I think, yeah, right there at the two-yard right line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nearly gets the foot in bounds, and that would have been a touchdown, but still, tremendous play and, and, and really a well-thrown football by Rocky Lombardi. Rocky Lombardi has thrown over 300 yards for the first time this season. Under 11 minutes 30, to play here in the 38 fourth 38 yards quarter. last week. <laughs> Ratkovich in the backfield, gets the carry. Pushes the pile, touchdown! Northern Illinois comes all the way back, and they take the lead. Excuse me, tied right now, but we're rating the extra point. Just power inside, push the pile, doesn't really get touched until he's in the end zone. Bristol nearly gets the stop, but not enough. Great push by the Huskies, and now the, the all-important PAT. This is big, knotted up at 35. Cannon Woodhill, the freshman, he has been big today, stepping up in John Richardson's absence as Northern Illinois takes a one-point lead. What a turnaround here. You talk about Maction. This is pure Maction in mid-Michigan. 36-35, the Huskies have their first lead of the Football is the game of life and it brings the community together. White, black, boys, girls. Flag, tackle. Football can revive communities. Anybody can play. That family value, that brotherhood is everything. It's really what all it's about is just having a good time and being able to play. There's never been a better time to play. F1, the double up. Oh. I'm working. What do we want for dinner? Burgers! I want a Wait. sugar cookie! I want a bucket of chicken! I want no. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. New upgraded Axe body wash. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, baby? Keeps you clean. Mm. And smelling refreshed for 12 hours. My wife and I decided to go get our first home. We noticed how easy the process was because they saw my credit score before self. My credit score was 499. And now it's at 630. Whoa, we have a home now. Nothing short of miraculous. Ohio State trying to dodge the upset trap here. Ohio State, Indiana, tonight at 7.30 on ABC. Why pay over 100 bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want with all the entertainment you love for the price that cable can't beat. Try free. Designed specifically for pet parents, the Bissell Crosswave X7 Cordless Pet Pro Multi-Surface Cleaner vacuums and washes at the same time. It freshens area rugs and tackles tough stuck-on messes in turbo pet mode, powerfully cleaning sealed hard floors. No surprise, it's our best crosswave for homes with pets and other mess makers too. Whatever stage of pet parenthood you're in, Bissell helps you live in the moment, not the mess. Your time to invest in companies that make stuff like this hard seltzer and this jetpack is now. It's all on Start Engine, which has an investor community of over 500,000. Go to startengine.com today and start investing. Illinois was down by 18 points in the second quarter and come all the way back to now take their first lead of the ball game up by one with under 11 minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Talk about Maction. You never know what's going to happen in this conference. It is, uh, I, I've been a part of some wacky games for the better part of the last decade, and uh, this does not surprise me one bit. And certainly, you know, NIU, you go back to that Wyoming, Wyoming game earlier this year, it feels very similar to that game when they were down 20-plus uh, points in the second half and, and stormed back to take a one-point lead. And uh, here they are again with, with the lead at Central Michigan. 
Saturday Night Football presented by Capital One. The Big Ten battle in Bloomington. Number five, Buckeyes against Indiana. It's at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Ohio State has won 25 in a row against Indiana, dating all the way back to 1990. So Marion Lukes is in the backfield now for the Chippewas on first and ten. Richardson looking to throw. They set up the screen. This is to Lukes. He's got some blockers in front of him. And a very well-designed play on first down. A gain of 16. A really good job setting up this screen. And you look at the big fellas on the outside. It's tied and Ferris on the outside, the receivers, and they're doing a good job. Nichols is in the game at running back now. He gets the carry there. That last screen pass, that was the longest play of the half for Central Michigan there to get a gain of seven on the ground. The Huskies' defense, we talked about it at halftime. What do they need to do? to come back in this ball game and I, I talked you know, they got to get stops and their defense has played much much better here in this second half they've, they've found ways to get off the field they forced some punts Nichols again showing some patience waiting for his blocks and he does pick up the first down how hard is that as a running back to wait for your block in order to get the right hole uh, I, as a former running back in high school, I can tell you it, it is one of the most difficult things to do to be patient because, you know, patience is, is something that you have as, a, as an instinct. And your, your mind is always saying, hey, you want to go, 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 go. You want to follow your blocks. But sometimes you just got to be a little, just, just a little hesitant. And it, it pays off. Richardson Ooh, just misses his man. He had Dallas Dixon with a step, but a little too far. Boy, he had Dixon would have probably banged his head off the goalpost if, if he's able to complete that pass. He was running wide open down the hash. We've seen Richardson make some really nice throws, but he missed a touchdown there. Second and ten now with under ten minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Fake run to the air now. And there's Sullivan again. Gain of nine. So on third and one, Nichols in the backfield. He'll get the carry, and he'll just push the pile to get a new set of downs. First down. How many more lead changes do you think we're going to have in this game? <laughs> John, this thing's going to go back and forth. I got a feeling this could be a fun finish. Take a look at the push up front from the Chippewas. And just grinding Nichols to, to pick up the first down. Big fullback. Hunter Buchkowski. I know you saying there's Northern Illinois there. jumped offline. We finally have a flag. It took a while. Something's got to get called there. Was it offsides or false start? I, I think this is offsides. False start. Wow. Offense, number 67. The five yard penalty. Still first down. Typically they, they call the flag and, and blow the play dead. Instead, they, they let it they let it go. That's the right tackle, Luke Gedeke. Yeah, he got oh, him. Yeah. Just, lean, just a little lean from Gedeke. So that'll back him up five yards. First and 15 now. Nichols gets the handoff, a burst of speed, cuts to the right, and finally pushed out of bounds by C.J. Brown. A gain of 22. Boy, first and 15, and he just gets shot out of a cannon. 
and breaks it to the outside and picks up the 22 yards. So now the Chippewas are really getting going here in the fourth quarter when they need it most. 21 carries for a buck 93. That's not a bad average, 9.2 yards a carry. My goodness. He has not been tackled for a loss today. First and 10. Going back to Nichols. Hit in the backfield, and I think I jinxed him because there's the first tackle for loss. I think that was Makai Nelson Douglas who gets in there. Yeah, 45. The freshman from Omaha. It's not an easy guy to bring on the ground, get on the ground. He's talking about Lou Nichols. So a loss of one brings up second and 11. Miles Bailey, the third running back. He's met by a wall of white jerseys. So third and long coming up. Now remember, Central Michigan has, has an excellent field goal kicker in, in Marshall Meter. Who's already had a couple of 50 plus yard kicks this year. So they, they're in in field goal range. And that matters because NIU doesn't really have a kicker they trust right now. Third and 11. Jump ball the end zone. And Pimpleton couldn't adjust to an incomplete pass. Javon Bird was the man in coverage. Yeah, Pimpleton has his man beat. He turns to the left and the ball's thrown to the left. He actually, he turned the right way initially. And then he just kind of got kind of caught out there like he was a center fielder looking for the ball up in the sun. So Central will take the opportunity to kick the field, kick the field goal. So here comes Marshall Meter. 38 yard field goal attempt is up and good. Back and forth we go. Central Michigan retakes the lead up by two with 6.01 to play. After the past year-ish, everyone deserves something new. So AT&T is giving everyone our best deals on every iPhone, including the iPhone 13 Pro with its amazing camera. Like everyone that worked from home or welcomed a new family member. There are a lot of dogs. Our deals are for everyone. It's not complicated. AT&T is giving new and existing customers our best deals on every iPhone, including up to $800 off the Epic iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro. Our crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's spicy, crispy chicken sandwich. You know, if we take that wrapper back to the store, it can be recycled into other stuff. Well, I want my wrapper to be a hanglider! How about a park bench? Dad, you need to think bigger. Recycle your specially marked Crunchy Bar wrappers in store now. Regina approaches the all-electric Cadillac Lyric. It's a sunny day. Nah, a stormy day. Classical music plays. Mm -mm. Brass band. New Orleans. <laughs> she drives hands-free along the coast. Make it Palm Springs. Cadillac is going electric. If you want to be bold, you have to go off script. Experience the all-electric Cadillac Lyric. At Tommy John, we believe you deserve the most comfortable underwear and breathable, supportive, lightweight stretch fabrics for the perfect fit on every guy. We believe in can't believe they never thought of that designs, like our stay put waistband and the horizontal quick draw fly. We believe the daily grind should only be in your coffee cup, not in your underwear. Plus, we guarantee no wedgies, no adjustment needed. Feeling is believing. So upgrade now and get 20% off your first order at TommyJohn.com with this code. I think when we look at the numbers, it clearly shows that one, excuse me for a minute. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, the numbers clearly, so anyway, uh, now if we, my late day routine, I don't know what he's talking about. We never had that conversation. Uh, back to the, oh, you're killing me, Neil. Absolutely killing me. 
The All-State Saturday Kickoff is presented by All-State. Save money like a champion with All-State. A cool 45-degree day here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. But it has been a red-hot turf. Both offenses just scoring back and forth. Central Michigan taking the lead 38-36 with 6.01 to play here in this fourth quarter. This was at one point a 28-10 game. And the Huskies have fought all the way back to, to actually have the lead here in the fourth quarter. And I'll tell you what, man, it, it just feels like, John, whoever has the football last may, may win this game. And you know, if it comes down to a kick for, for NIU, they've got a, a, a really young freshman kicker who's kicking for the first time. Josh Rolfson boots that one away. Rudolph will return it to the 30-yard line. And you mentioned when Northern Illinois down by 18 points, that drive to end the half for Northern Illinois capped off with a two-point conversion. That was a huge drive for the Huskies. We're going to step aside. We'll be right back with under six minutes to play here in the fourth. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. Everyone loves the benefits of compression socks, but they're just so hard to get on. Until now. Introducing the all-new CopperFit Energy Socks, redesigned for the first-ever easy-on, easy-off fit to help reduce swelling, relieve tired, achy muscles, and provide energizing support. A new blend of stretch fabric for the most comfortable, easy-on, easy-off compression fit. Being a SWAT commander, we train to win. The CopperFit Energy Socks, they didn't feel like other compression socks. It totally exceeded my expectations. Our most powerful copper-infused fabric, woven into our easy-on, easy-off compression sock to help reduce swelling discomfort from prolonged sitting or standing. I'm 38 and a half weeks pregnant. CopperFit Energy Socks worked beautifully. Extra support around the arch and ankles for increased support and relief of muscle aches and pains. I'm so excited about these socks. I'm so much more energized to go do things after a day of work. They just slip right on, yet they still have that same compression that you want. A soft cushion footbed for all day comfort. I'm on my feet at least nine to 10 hours a day. These were fantastic. A lot of compression socks are a little too thin, especially for what I do with CopperFit. I could wear these every day. Feel more energized, feel more active, just feel better. They just hug your leg. It relieves all the pressure that you have. I have so much energy, I can go. Hey, you want to dance? The first ever easy on, easy off compression sock. The most comfortable compression sock you will ever wear. Get your CopperFit Energy Socks now online at GetEnergySocks.com for only $19.99 or call 1-800-614-1032. Order right now and we'll include a second pair of compression socks free. I've never felt anything like it before. No more pain, no more swelling, no more achy, tired feet. I can never go back to regular compression socks again. Don't settle for ordinary. Ask for the original by name, CopperFit Energy Socks. Are you ready for not only 17 weeks, but 18 weeks of NFL action? Ready! I was born ready. Yeah, baby. Canucks Kraken, tonight on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to Kelly Short Stadium. It is a good one here in the MAC. Central Michigan with a two-point lead here in the fourth quarter. Top-ranked boxing tonight from Atlanta. Our main event has Jamel Herring, the U.S. Marine Corps veteran, against undefeated Shakur Stevenson. Now, that'll be for Herring's WBO junior lightweight belt. Plus, Muhammad Ali's grandson, Nico, returns to the ring after winning his professional debut in August. Main card starts at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific on ESPN. ESPN Deportes and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Hand off to Jay Ducker. It is so hard to bring him down after mm -hmm. making initial contact. The first guy usually never make, makes the tackle. I, I've been impressed with really both running backs in this game. With Lou Nichols on, on one side and, and with Ducker on the other side. Both young players who have uh, made an impact in this, in this football game, no doubt.
Second and six. Lombardi will hand off to Ducker again. Nothing outside. Tries to go back inside, but the Chippewas are there. It'll bring up third down. Tico Brown, the guy on the stop. I, I got a feeling this is four down territory the rest of this game for NIU because uh, the last thing you want to do with just under five minutes to go in the ball game is, is give the football back to, to Central Michigan. They, they've been gashing you, and I, I wouldn't. I, I don't know that I would trust my defense, frankly, to, to get the football back. So third and four, adjustment on the line, heavy set on the left. That's where Lombardi runs. He gets pushed by his offensive lineman, and they got a first down. Design quarterback run by Lombardi comes off to his left side following his right tackle. That's uh, Nolan Potter. And then just kind of spins back inside and, and gets a little push for the first down. That was a well-designed play, and uh, lucky they, they were able to pick up that first down. Northern Illinois in no rush here. The clock Ooh. is on their side, down by two. Four minutes to play here in this fourth quarter. Lombardi to the air. His receiver slipped. Incomplete pass. That was intended. Mohamed Torre. Well, Torre just has the three catches on the season. Hasn't been too impactful, impactful for this offense, but he's got size. Six foot two, 200 pounds, and I think you're right. He just, just kind of slipped out of his break. There on the outside is uh, Rolian Sturkey was in coverage. Tucker is the running back. Play clock is at five. Second and ten. Fake the handoff. Lombardi pressured. This is to Rudolph. Across the formation, getting out of bounds. He'll be a couple yards short of the first down. He'll bring up third down. And now let's take a look at our Fansville College Football Update brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Cincinnati, 6-0 with a 55% chance to win out. I had UTSA earlier this year. They are legit at a Conference USA, 7-0. San Diego State, they got a tough one tonight. They're going up against Air Force and SMU, 7-0 on the season. With the showdown with the Bearcats on November 20th, that's going to be the game of the year in the American Conference. Third and two, Lombardi keeps it himself, and he doesn't get there. Maybe extra effort there at the end? George close. Douglas was the first man. It actually was pretty close with Lombardi keeping those legs moving. Got the extra push at the end. Uh, he doesn't get the first down, but watch as he just keeps churning the legs. Kind of falls on top of a Chippewa, and then, then Rakovich comes in there with Torrey, and they, they just push, 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 and he gets across midfield. But it is going to be fourth and one, and it's a full one. Clock continues to tick as we approach two and a half to play here in this fourth quarter. Play clock, and Northern that's Illinois that's is for, forced to call a timeout, their first timeout here in this second half. And it, and that's a big timeout because now if you don't get this on the other side, Central Michigan will have a chance to maybe run out the clock. So a huge fourth down coming up when we come back. Welcome to Allstate, where we have all new lower auto rates. And savings like that make you feel like you won the whole dang thing. Now get new lower auto rates with Allstate. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. Beef farmers and ranchers around the country are implementing land conserving, wildlife protecting, award winning environmental efforts. Learn more about how beef farmers and ranchers are rethinking the ranch. Will there be an EV for me? What about me? One for me? You mean us? What about me? And me? 
me? How about us? Yeah, how about us? Great question. Wait, can I get one in green? Got one for me? What about us? Is there an evening for me? Evening for me? Us. What about me? Me? Introducing the OTM EV platform by General Motors. Everybody in. While expecting, Jennifer discovered the Chex Mix combination of one corn Chex, one wheat Chex, and three breadstick pieces. Get born and then you can pick your own mix, baby. Pick your mix. This football season, buy four participating items and save $50 off Fanatics gear at wearetailgatenation.com. With DirecTV Stream, I can get live TV and on demand together. Watch. Serena Williams, Wonder Woman. Serena, Wonder Woman. Serena, Wonder Woman. Be serious. Get your TV together with the best of live and on demand. Introducing Direct TV Stream. When I break a long run, I'm talking long, long. That's why I use Old Spice Triple Protection Sweat Defense. Old Spice works harder for longer. Get there, man. You're gonna be much longer. This is gonna be a minute, minute. Get there, quick one. Get there. Want a chance to win $10,000 for your ultimate game day experience? Just purchase any 5-hour energy product, snap a pic of the receipt, and visit 5hesport.com to enter. It's easy. Who brought the buns? Wubble Rumblers, WWE. Tag in with WWE superstars Stone Cold Steve Austin, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Undertaker, and you for the ultimate Wubble Rumble. Here comes Randy Orton. Wubble Rumblers WWE is off the top rope button for the whole family. You can choose your Wubble Rumblers WWE superstar with this exclusive TV-only sticker sheet for $14.99 plus $4.99 processing and handling. Must be 18 or older to order. Each sold separately. What a ball game. Central Michigan up by two here in Kelly Short Stadium. If you think this one is good, take a look at the schedule we got coming up later today on the ESPN Family of Networks. Number 10, Oregon. Travels to Los Angeles, taking on UCLA. That's at 3.30 on ABC. Clemson's at Pitt, Tennessee at Alabama. And Ohio State, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN, taking on Indiana. All right, Dustin, here we go. Fourth and one Huge for play. Northern I, Illinois. I, they got Rakovich in there again. The pitch is to Rudolph. The right side of the field is all alone, and Rudolph will slide down inbounds to keep the clock running gain of eight what a call everyone in, in the stadium thinks that Rakovich is getting this football on a speed option and you come with the end around with no blockers and just nobody expects that that was just a brilliant call by NIU so the timeout I'd say it was worth it Northern Illinois four for five on fourth down conversions today that is impressive Two minutes to play here in this fourth quarter. Handoff is to Ducker, and he is through the line. Brought down wow. inside the red zone. Northern Illinois is in business. A gain of 25. Boy, he is just something else. Just shot out of a cannon. Zone blocking. He feels the leverage of, of his blocks, and then he just bursts upfield. And Reed saves the touchdown. Now, Central Michigan realizing Northern Illinois just wants to run out this clock. The Chippewas will take a timeout, their first timeout here in the second half. Smart. And for Thomas Hammock, what a job he has done at the helm as the head coach here at his alma mater. A former running back here at Northern Illinois. He's worked his way up through the ranks of the coaching world, was a running backs coach at the Ravens. This is his first head coaching opportunity. And when we talked to him, he, he said, I feel the pressure. He said, it's not just because I, I'm coming back to my school. He goes, I am one of 15 African-American head coach in the FBS. He goes, and I don't take that lightly. He says, I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm doing it for people who look like me, who can have more opportunities. So I have to succeed in the position that I'm in. And what a job he is doing this year at Northern Illinois. Tremendous, tremendous job, especially after last season. I mean, it was an 0-6 year, really uh, a, a tough tough year for the program and, and he realized that they were gonna have to go through some go through some tough times ducker up the middle douglas on the tackle for 
A short gain on first down. Central Michigan will burn their second timeout. One remaining. It is time now for the AT&T 5G best moment from today. All right, Dustin, what was your best moment? Uh, I would say the fourth and one we just had, the reverse to Rudolph, which could be the ball game because they get that first down and then the, the ensuing play, Ducker takes it inside the 20-yard line and gives them a chance now here to potentially run out the, the clock, whether they get a touchdown or a field goal. Uh, to me, that's, that's the best two plays back-to-back -back of the day for the Huskies. Well, here's the kicker, the freshman, Cannon Woodhill. He is starting in place of John Richardson, who did not make the trip for Northern Illinois. I'll tell you what, if I'm a Husky oh. fan and I'm, I'm a Husky player, we need a touchdown here. Second and five, run up the middle with Ducker. That'll bring up third down. Now, Woodle has been perfect. He made his first career field goals today from 24 and 26 yards out. Central Michigan will burn their third and final timeout here as we get ready for a big third down. Coach McElwain and his squad, they had an 18-point lead in the second quarter. But then Northern Illinois stormed back, taking all the momentum. I think they're going to stay, the, stay on the ground here. Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask you. Where does Northern Illinois go yeah. here on this third and four? Ducker? Why not give it to Ducker? He, he's been the player of the game to me for the Huskies. A hundred and seventy-four yards on the ground for Jay Ducker. Wasn't even named the starter this week because they wanted to keep the practices competitive. Third and four. Ducker gets the carry. Cuts to the left side. It's going to be close. And he is going to be about a yard short. Wow. Now the deci decision time for NIU. He uh, does a really good job cutting back. But once he cuts back, you got to get north and south. You've you got to find a way to get an extra couple of yards and a good job by the, the Chippewa defense to, to shut him down. Boy, this is a tough decision. I, I would let this play clock run all the way down if I am NIU. I would hit a timeout, and then I'd make a decision. And, and Great stop and by the safety, Devonnie Reed, to make that tackle. Now he had a tough decision for Northern Illinois. So there's the timeout by Coach Thomas Hammock. So who's coming out? Is it going to be the offense or the special teams group on fourth and one? Freshman kicker, Cannon Woodhill. Here he comes. Oh, boy. Here Got it the is. Trust. There it is. He's a perfect two of two on the day. This will be a 25-yard field goal attempt for the lead. With under a minute to go. Woodle kick is up and pure. The freshman goes three for three in his first career start. What a wow. ball game for Cannon Woodle. And Stole Northern Illinois kick. retakes the lead. What a kick by Woodle. 
I was I was nervous for him. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It looked like they got some good pressure off the left side from Central Michigan. But they get it off just in time and he's, he's pure right down the middle. That's before the kick. How about this? I don't want to watch. I can't watch. You can't even look. I can't watch. I can't watch. He's going to wait for the sound. He didn't even <laughs> see it. <laughs> he didn't even watch the kick. That's amazing. What a performance. Down by 18 points to storm all the way back and take a one point lead. But let's not forget. There's still 54 seconds on the clock, and this Chippewa's offense, they can strike fast. Yes, they can. Now, the, the problem is for Central Michigan, they don't have any timeouts left. So they got to work the sidelines and get first downs. Another squib kick. We've seen that all day. How about a little trickeration? Who's got the ball coming out of the pile? That's going to be Luke's. He keeps it himself. So he'll run it out to the 25-yard line. Central Michigan needing to get into field goal range with no timeouts, 48 seconds on the clock. Now, you mentioned it before. Marshall Meter is a fantastic kicker. He is good from around 50, 51 yards. Daniel Richardson working out of the shotgun. Great protection, just a three-man rush. We'll dump it down to his running back, Nichols. Plenty of time. Got time to get up here. You can spike it now or you can run a play. Smart decision. I like that. Like the call to spike, it. to spike it. Now, plenty of time. 40, 39 seconds. You got to get at least 25, 30 yards. Can still work the middle of the field. So look at meter on the sidelines. We've seen many college kicker moments. Meter's a good one. He was, of course, on the watch list for the Groza before the season. So here's second and ten after the spike. Richardson working the middle of the field, and that's Pimpleton completes it for the first down. The clock will stop momentarily as they set the chains. 34 seconds to play. After the gain of 12, Richardson spikes it again to stop the clock at 32 seconds. They might get a shot at this field goal attempt. They're moving the ball at a, at a really high clip here. 32 seconds to go, plenty of time. If they keep getting these first downs, they, they can still work the middle of the field. I, I'd bring a little Illinois pressure if I, if I was NIU. And I used to yeah, I'm just going to say they're only rushing back. three men right now. Ball is batted down at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Good play by Demond Taylor, number two. Watch number ten, right up the left side. Gets his hands up right about now. There you go. That's what you're taught to do when you're when you're in the stalemate with the quarterback in the pocket. Coach McElwain was a little concerned about those bat downs this week, and, and there's a good one by uh, Taylor on second down. Now you got to worry about getting first downs here too. Cuz remember you spike it on first down. So now you're at third and 10. First third down of the drive at third and 10. Richardson will roll out to his right on the run. Incomplete pass to Wilson. He dropped it. And this is the ball game. Fourth and 10 for Central Michigan now. You know, as Richardson's getting outside the pocket here, look how much grass is in front of him. I, I, I was thinking, just take off and run. He probably could have ran for 10 yards and maybe got out of bounds and, and got that first down. I was surprised he decided to check down there to his tight end. Now, he, now you got to get a first down. You got everyone. Everyone's got to be past the sticks. Richardson making the throw complete. There's the first down to Dallas Dixon. So the clock stops momentarily with 16 seconds to play, a gain of 22 on fourth down. I would run this off to the left side, try to center this thing up and spike it. 
So Dixon, this throw? Richardson will spike. How about this last throw to Dixon? Jeez. In, in, in such a tight window, that was just a very impressive throw by Richardson. Good look from behind as he's got to step up. He's under pressure and finds Dixon. So now you got to be careful. 15 seconds can go by in a hurry. Can't take a sack. Richardson will just get rid of that one. A quick throw out of bounds. 10 seconds to play. It's third and 10 now because he spiked the ball on first down. I, I'm telling you what, I've seen this happen too many times in, in college. If you're going to take another shot here, you've got to be sure that you don't take a sack because this clock will run out and you won't have an opportunity. I, I would kick it right now on third down. The offense is going to stay on the field to take another shot here on third and ten. Can you work the middle or you have to go right to the sideline? No, you got to work sideline. Third and ten. Go. A quick go. out completes it to Joel Wilson. They get a few more yards for their kicker, Marshall Meter. A gain of four. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> what a ball game we have seen here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Back and forth all game long. Central Michigan had an 18-point lead in the second quarter. Northern Illinois is up by one. But Marshall Meter can be the hero today. Now, Northern Illinois does have one timeout remaining. Game over. Was that a bad snap? Game over, bad snap. Game over. No wow. way. Jordan Gandy on the recovery for Northern Illinois as Central Michigan doesn't even get a snap off for the kick. Let's we'll see what the flag is. We do have a flag down. Let's see what the call is. Boy, this would be a big call. Because this, this game would be over. Hammock's pointing against Central. Hammock is saying it's our ball, right? As good of a game as this has been, that would be a wow. shame to end a game like that. But Dustin, going back to your point earlier, you kick it on third down to avoid situations like this when something bad happens, right? right? Absolutely. There are two fouls against Northern Illinois, and both will be enforced. After the play, dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct, Northern Illinois bench with a 15-yard penalty. Also, dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 10 for taking his helmet off. That penalty will be enforced as well. It'll be first and 10, Northern Illinois. Now the key here the key is that ball. both of those penalties were after the play, which means Northern Illinois has the ball, and that's the game. Here's the snap. Yeah. It's just a little low. Well, the holder is Elzinga. He doesn't get a hand on it. I don't know. I mean, Luke it wasn't the best the snap in the world. Thomas Amick is fired up to come back from 18 points. So they'll walk off the penalties, but with Central, Central Michigan having no timeouts remaining, Northern Illinois only has to take a knee, and this game is over. Rocky Lombardi takes a knee, and that is it. Northern Illinois comes back from 18 points down to win a thriller, 39-38. And the Huskies remain undefeated in the MAC and move to 4-0. Amazing comeback by the Huskies, showing fight, resiliency. Rocky Lombardi and company. Did a great job in the second half. Had to throw the football a lot more than they typically would like. 
in a high scoring shootout type of game. But wow, what a, what a great performance. You love this conference. So many fun games. Maction is, is where it's at. And, and we just got, got a chance to call one of the better games you'll, you'll probably see all year in college football. This was just a tremendous game by both teams. How about the performance by Northern Illinois running back Jay Ducker? 31 carries, 183 yards on the ground. Every time he touched it, looked like he was gaining five. What a ball game. If that's not the definition of Maction, I don't know what is. Northern Illinois coming all the way back to win a thriller over Central Michigan. For my partner Dustin Fox and this incredible ESPN crew on hand here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, I'm John Trippin saying good night, Northern Illinois.